No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> hey, um, hey, is this is this on? Is this on? Hello? Is this on? <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Unexpectables. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, we have dead. many people here, and so, and, and some of them you're excited to see. Everyone but myself and Bosco. <laughs> Speaking of Bosco, where can they find you, bud? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Hey, it's, that. Well, well, I, it's whoa. Just, Give me my what? bonus action, motherfucker. Oh, uh, bo <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that what it's called now? Great. Uh, no, uh, oh, I, the, th the thing is, you used your bonus action. And for my bonus action, um, I would like to let everybody know that coming out today, well, tomorrow, technically, mm -hmm. uh, Transformers. War for Cybertron oh. is a thing. It's the 30th, guys. Oh. Okay. Check me out oh. as Ultra Magnus and Soundwave. And I don't, I don't know the exact release time for that. I'm My roommate and I are going to check in midnight to, uh, tomorrow. So in like, oh, what, like five hours, something like that. We're going to see if it pops up at midnight Pacific time. Uh, it's going to be on Netflix. Okay. So that should be like 3 a.m. Eastern. Oh, okay. And uh, so what? it'll either be up or it won't. And then if it's not, I'll watch it in the morning. But I'm very excited to see how it all came out. It's the first six episodes so yeah, yeah that should be good a uh, quick question bosco uh yes. just quickly i can switch it to japanese right uh yeah probably <laughs> why okay uh, i love that i love how that's a thing <laughs> just checking uh, just checking, just checking. <laughs> that's okay yeah. Look, man, it is your, it's your right as an american and a canadian to be wrong <laughs> oh my goodness it's awesome to hear though dude Seriously, I'm really excited. I was like, when you said you were Ultra Magnus, I was like, eh. And then you were like, I'm Soundwave. I was like, oh, fuck, that's a cool one. <laughs> Thanks. Ultra I Magnus think. is the booster of Transformers. So here's what he's, here's the, he's the lawful good paladin of Transformers. You know? <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, but no, he's the, he's the lawful stupid because he's yeah. not. Look. So Wait a minute, cut. This is, this is my thought on Ultra Magnus, and this is no disrespect to anybody who's ever played him. I feel like the character in and of itself is a very low bar to clear. So even if I if people hate me, I'm just in line with everybody else. If for some reason they're like, man, I really like his Ultra Magnus, I'm like, well, then I have cleared a very low bar that I didn't trip over. <laughs> Awesome. Hey, is that is that is that is that well known uh, Ghost of Tsushima fan oh, Gaijin Goomba? God. Hi, hi. Yes, I've been. You've already Yomi. beaten it, dude. What do you want I, from us? I I haven't planned to meet yet. Besides, uh, I mean, what's with what's with the, this constant attack, Taka, of attack? something that what I mean? love? What are, you, what, are you what, are you what are you talking about? I don't want this... you to downplay how much how into this you are. All right, Taka, you say go <laughs> sorry to him right now. I am Gomenu Suri. Okay. Hey, you know what? It's, it's Daijo Bouquet. Don't worry about Here, it. Here, I'm going to post an image in uh, the memes chat that kind of encompasses this entire. <laughs> that is the entire gone ball. Thing. Alrighty then. Good. good. While she's doing can that, I, can I just ask you how long it took you to beat the game? Like an hour? Damn it. Uh, well, I did a lot of faffing about. Um, a lot of people say that it takes 60 to complete. I what think it. Fuck? I think I think it takes way more than that. Uh, so, I've been streaming it every day. Like the first day it came out, I streamed it all day. Like we're talking eleven hours. Uh, and then every day since then, I've been streaming it anywhere between three to five. And I, and I've I've only gotten to a point where I'm like eighty percent done. <laughs> so there. Uh, anywho, though, that was my bonus action to to I know that was my reaction uh, against Taka uh, for my action. I would love to state that I have so many videos coming out and it's scary because it's are they about ghosts? Are they are they about ghosts of Tsushima? Uh, uh, two of the five are mm. because one of them has to be Witch Ninja on Jin and the other has to be my own takeaway from the game, which is actually really good. Zito, please, uh -huh. please, no more of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've already used my reaction, Zito. I can't do it again. Uh. But no, uh, I recently had a video going up talking about Tsukiyomi from Smite because a lot of people asked me for that, despite the fact that I knew it wasn't going to get a lot of attention, but it was still fun to do. Uh, the Ghost the ghost of, Tsushima, of Tsushima Jin, which Ninja will be after that. Zuko Part 2 will be after that. The other... Oh, God damn. The, the other Ghost of Tsushima video will be after that. And then... What's on my schedule? Good God. No, no, no. no uh, take, take your time. There's nobody else. Uh... <laughs> Okay, you know what? You know what? That's I'm gonna call turn. I, I will call. Ah, turn. There we go. There we go. Hit the clock. Hit the clock. 
Christ, man. Thanks, you prick. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fucking go. giving you shit, dude. No, go, go. No, go. fuck you. What, no, what do you want no. from me? Oh, you know what? Ladies, I want? you're I both want... beautiful. Christ. I want... No, I this want. I, what I... This is what this I is want... why. I... This is why I never take vacations because I come back to this and it's just hmm. like that gif of that guy walking no. into the kitchen with everything on fire. Taka, what I want is to hear how you've been obsessed with Sea of Thieves. Tell us about oh, that good oh, time. Oh, 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 you want me to tell you about that? Well, I was I wanted to talk about Zito, but we can get to him later. It's fair. Yeah, anyway, fair. I'll split the difference. Distortion Devil, where can they find you? <laughs> uh, well, they can they can find me. Um... <laughs> on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I don't interrupt anybody. Uh, <laughs> I stream Tuesdays, Friday, Saturdays. Playing this fucking Sundays. game too long with each other. At this point, we're talking how much of a dick can we be with with maintaining our friendship? <laughs> Where's the line? How far can I push it towards that? <laughs> well, I stream Tuesdays. Feels. <laughs> Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesdays, R.A.W. Roll Initiative Wrestling, my own D&D themed WWE 2K20 show that uses the chats D&D characters as wrestlers. Uh, <laughs> Fridays, Friday Funhouse, where I play a lot of fun tabletop games with my friends. Uh, it could just be any game. It doesn't have to be tabletop. Uh, we've been playing a lot of uh, uh, of Guards and Thieves lately, which is just like multiplayer Metal Gear original. Uh, and it's a whole lot of fun. Uh... Saturday, we're making our way through the Yakuza series, and oh boy, uh, I've 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 got a long fight ahead of me. <laughs> can you give us some of that King? Can, can you give some of that Hank Hill? As much as 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 much as that music, as long as as much as your song hurt me, it hurt me in such a good way. I had to listen to it at least twelve times today. Bobby me time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and Sunday, I'm playing with the uh, people behind Dead House Sonata. And speaking of which, if you would like to check out Dead House Sonata, please go to the forums, visit the Discord, talk to Dennis Dyack. He's a really great guy, really passionate about this product, and so am I, which is why I'm going to spam in chat the link to purchase a Founders Pack to get early access to this game, which is coming out ah, ah. early next year. Maybe... Uh, maybe some more information later this year, uh, but be on the lookout for that. If you want a spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series, this is it. Okay. God damn Monty, it, where can they find you? Hi. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at <laughs> twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Um, if you guys like late night streams, I've been doing a lot of shiny hunting in Pokemon. Um, with I feel like I'm cursed. Every time I stream Pokemon to get a shiny Pokemon, I always never get it. And then the moment I turn off the stream and I, I do it by myself, I always get a shiny Pokemon every single ah, time. Ah, streamer's curse. It's literally like I, I streamed for a Venipede and I got a random Beltoy. And then like I did, I was trying to get a shiny Trapage and then I stopped streaming, finished up the rest of the eggs and got two of them. And I was like, fuck. So um, next stream, I'm probably going to do Venipede. I'm going to do 600 Venipede eggs and hope that we get the shiny Venipede. Um, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm also doing a lot of commissions. So if you want to get a commission from me, keep your eyes peeled on my Twitter. Um, or if you're not, uh, in my discord, you can go there. Um, I'm going to be giving priority to those two places. Um, they won't be streamed. They're private. So if you want to get a commission from me, definitely keep your eyes peeled. Um, but the biggest announcement that I have right now, um, let me find the promo image. Um, Ooh, yeah, get the official image. I, I'm going to try and find it. <laughs> Um, so if you guys, uh, love D&D, &D, um, I got graciously invited to a Gen Con panel, an online Gen Con, uh, Gen Con panel that's going to be streamed by Mercs of Mischief. Um, I'm going to be joining, uh, Kat Kruger, Sheriff Jackson, and How to Be a Great Game Master. Um, and we're going to be talking about how to create, um, basically how to create a player character that your GM would enjoy, um, or would like. Uh, it's going to be Saturday uh, at 1 p.m. EDT and 10 a.m. PDT. Um, and it's sponsored by Hero Forge, so you can have a chance to win a $35 gift code. And that's American. That's a lot of money. Um, it is available for everybody except for Quebec because they're not allowed nice things. Um, so definitely, so, so definitely check it out. Um, the promo image is on my Twitter. I'm probably going to announce it again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very honored. And I, I think this is my first time being on a panel where they just wanted like just me, uh, cause usually they usually want both me and my brother, but this is, they approached me on this one. So, 
uh, by Kurt. <laughs> Damn. No, 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 it's it's it, honestly, it's about fucking time you left me in the ditch. Good God in heaven! <laughs> My extra window. weight makes the gas cost twice as much. I'm just joking, but yeah. So, so if you want to check that out, definitely come and show some support. I'd be amazing. Whenever I, whenever my favorite thing about doing stuff for uh, as a guest or doing stuff for other channels <laughs> is when all the unexpectables people show up and are just absolutely wonderful. And it's just like, I love you guys. You guys are great. So I'm very excited for that. But that's that's all I have for that announcement. Sorry for being Gabby. So you're saying we should all show up? I mean, if you want to. Hey, Chris Zito, the big, the big boy who had his big win, who killed a big bad. He double tapped it when he got dizzy, knocked down. Hell yeah! Well, hell yeah! I use, my, I use my bonus action to tell you all that you can find me <laughs> over at Twitch chat. <laughs> God damn it! You can find me at Twitch. Wait, that was such an authentic laugh. You know he's professional, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, uh, where I play a fuck ton of Mugen Kart, a.k.a. Sonic Robo Kart Blast, whatever the fuck guy just sometimes plays. We mm -hmm. get salty. Uh, we, we listen, dude, we, we all get salty. Come on we, now. We play, we play a ship post stage where there's a Lanky Kong in the background. It's all black and white, and there's a weird song playing about bananas. Dude, it's, it's great. It's a good stage. It's, such a, it's, it's actually it's a well-put-together fucking I stage. Know, it's the part. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a meme built well. Yep. So now I use my reaction to tell you that, like Bosco, I too have a voice role. <gasps> oh, oh dang. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys know Funny Man uh, Zarel, uh, one of the really cool animators on the YouTube, uh, he is finally putting out his pitch for uh, his like long, like fucking worked on show. I followed this man in the DeviantArt days, like for a while, okay. and that's where we met at first. And he's been working on these characters for like almost a decade and a half, and I get to voice in it. I'm gonna post a link in the chat. Nice. Yep, I I get to be a main cast apparently as as a little fat black cat. It it's suits, perfect. It, that character suits you so well. I saw that. And I'm like, yeah. I just nodded. I was like, yeah, that's 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 mm -hmm. that's on point right there. Dude, congrats, man. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. No, it's it's stupid fun. I can't wait to I can't wait to play a passive aggressive meowth with a gun. Oh my god, it is perfect. I, uh, for you. I, I I heard he's a uh, small. Now listen here, you little shit. I'm gonna, take, <laughs> I'm gonna take this knife and gun it down your stomach and watch your entrails leave. <laughs> yeah, no, they they picked the right person. That's good. It's it's, it's awesome. perfect. So, I mean, you can um, also find me on Twitter, and you can also find me on Ever Angan Almanac, where I'm making monkey people. Like I'm actually making like uh, Sun Wukong a playable race. So there you go. Oh shit! Oh, all right. you gotta let you gotta I, let I, Spooky I, know about that. She's all about that. Uh, uh, she I, may I, or may not have have made the cover. All right, <laughs> good. I, I, I gotta say. agree with uh, <laughs> Cooper Tails in the chat. Meowth with a gun. Ash better run. <laughs> Bojo's a double and a sack of rusted pennies. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So you can find me twitch.tv slash takahata101 where, yes, as Gaijin and Goomba so rightfully shamed me, I've been playing a lot of Sea of Thieves. You're and, Reaper scum! Hey, hey, I'll have you know, we only attack defensively ahead of time. <laughs> Listen, what? everyone's out there about to try and sink us, so if we're what? going for the Reaper's chest, all right, and there's a guy going for the Reaper's chest. Clearly, he's going to try and attack us for that Reaper's chest. We have to kill him, burn his ship, and let him roll out in as it's dying. Uh, All right. They're, they're including flamethrowers in the patch update. I'm very excited to have a flamethrower in this fucking game. Because <laughs> that's what this pirate game needed with wooden ships, is a fucking flamethrower. Now, that being said... It's a lot of fun. I enjoy playing it. We, have, of course, have our WWE 2K19 e-wrestling fed this Thursday, the beginning of the T-Cup tournament. Yeah. The winner will, of course, get a T-Pose trophy, and they will T-Pose on all their opponents oh my God, to a certain dominance. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also a slight other... I, I use my extra action here oh God. Uh, to, announce, a thing. To, to announce that... Um, it is my birthday this upcoming Friday. Oh, that's right. Oh, hey. God. I'm like, I'm watching, like, oh, right. Oh, oh right. fuck, this, that's this, right. It, <laughs> it, is a fam it is a family thing that we don't make a big deal out of our birthday. Like, this is just a no. thing with my family. My mom, really for, my, for my birthday, my mom's like, here's some coasters and some, some uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, kitchen towels. And I was like, awesome. 
To be um, fair, that's we... exactly what I would think to get. You're like a socks and like underwear and towels and like practical. Man, I... Like, what does Monty need in everyday life? I'd be like, you here's know... some paint for your models. You know what I? You know what I wanted for Christmas? I wanted uh, storage containers for my flour and my sugar and my brown sugar, and I wanted. Um... <laughs> I literally wanted storage <laughs> compartments for my kitchen. That was all I wanted. That's the true and sign I, of adulthood. And I almost mm -hmm. cried when I got a granny cart when I was still in university. <laughs> for that was my main gift. And I was like, it's beautiful. And I, I bought a watermelon just because I could at that point. Monty's 20-something going on 60-something. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's true. Anyway, sorry. But yes, uh, it'll be my birthday this upcoming Friday. So I will be doing a birthday stream. I don't fucking quite know what I'm playing. Wait, this on Friday? Friday? Yeah, in the afternoon and then in later evening. Don't worry, I'm not doing it at the same time as Flashbang. No, I was going to say I would do that. I mean, it's because the Friday Night Wars. I get it. Yeah, that's just going to be... Okay, but we'll do that. That's going to be at a later time. But uh, that being said, thank you all so much for the kindness. Now, there's a lot of bit drops here. I need to start getting You're good. Advice. I'm going to let... We'll do start at uh, 7, uh, 7, 10, because I got to get up and put some polysport on my brain. All right. By the way, Nadine went to surgery today. I didn't go to surgery. Shut up. <laughs> But they, but, but, but they she said. ditches out. Would you stop scaring people? My brain escaped and they had to put it back in where it belongs. And then they had to How did up. they find it? Why did it run? Because it was afraid. Is, what is going on? Here? One second, guys. Um, there's an issue here with Streamlabs as it has now disappeared five minutes of donations. I apologize, everybody. If you dropped a bit drop, please call out so we can um, give you the attention. Jake Heisen getting us up a gaming in furnace. Uh, at a st attested stone game sam 12 thank you for the subs at like gamer gifting five subs to the community thank you so much x mckinnis x mckinnis rammy boy 92 thank you so much nackley poly gifting us up to ridded 44 hate and james thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community again th th there were bits me th 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 there's 10 minutes missing from the from this fucking streamlabs readout what the fuck i, it, I, ah, I hate this program no i think it was you so far back no, it, it normally doesn't do this to me. Okay. I hate this. Dusty, far, guys, we apologize so much. There was a lot of bit drops here. I want to make sure we call, shout out everybody. Your, but your kindness and donations is, as always, is incredibly, like, appreciated and loved. And if we ever miss you guys, we fucking hate that shit. Like, it's a personal pet peeve of mine. So I am very frustrated with this program. But let's try and get through who we can uh, here. I pulled it up on mine, and I think we've got the, the whole thing up on the actual dashboard. We do? Yeah, are I, you on the Streamlabs yeah, dashboard or are you in actual Streamlabs? I'm in the Streamlabs uh, dashboard on the website. Huh. Really? Because it's all, got the full 17 minutes on mine. It's the full 17 minutes. On, it, it does, but there were bit drops at the beginning of the of the, of the the show, and they're not showing up. I remember some of these people who were dropping these big bit uh, uh, sub bombs, and hmm. there were bits being dropped at the same time, and those bits are not showing up. So I apologize mm. guys all right let's just uh let's just continue on here sorry fish next dusty bone true true uh, alucard true v nettle norseman go Marad, rg home crazy ask push infinity judge darky arts arc requiem d fits flits boy top or bottom g force 39 super chuckle devil and meister worst spaceman joe thank you all for the subs god damn guys arc requiem d dropping those 10 subs upon the community a big thank you to arc requiem d He's like a vampire hunter, but we have Requiem for a dream because he is out of this world and a dream. Mr. Insecure with a five month, five subs gifted to the chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Insecure. We feel secure in your kindness. Really appreciate that. Burning Pie, Zero Strife, Lake Please. Thank you so much for the subs. Masu Bill, thank you for the five subs as well. That's very, very, very kind of you for the five subs. Point, Dexter, A Flawed Mind, Pachetero, Spock Zombie, Hurtful Jade, Mr. Fuck em Up 2001. Thank you for the subs, guys. I'm not down to seven minutes ago now. So if you're following along, then that's I'm not I'm missing any of the bits from seven minutes ago, essentially. Uh, if you can look on the machine, I mean that that would be if we if we can. So the, all I see are subs. So I think you're good. Okay, I just want to make sure we're not missing anybody yeah. here. Uh, I want to thank uh, Pie Rounded, Crazy Tail Thirty. Thank you so much for the bits, Kai Reason with a thousand bits. I've been waiting for this hype. Good luck to all you on the way home. Thank you so much, Kai Reason. Olawa Bingo. Thank you so much for the subs. Queen Elfie one with a 1,000 bits. Zeno the cat. I love it. 1,000 bits. Zeno the cat. Zeno. Zeno the cat. Whenever he gets in a fix, he reaches out for a wrench and smacks you across the face with it. Oh, you're just like my mechanic. 
Ernie 44 with 11,500 bits. My God, from Ernie 44, thank you for all, thank you all for giving me tons of joy in these crazy times. Ernie 44, we're more than happy to do that. And thank you so much for the 11,500 bits. Guys, let's snap out for Ernie. So fetch. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, Phantom Man, 85, thank you for the sub. King Kami drops with the 1,500 bits. It's been a hell of a harvest season. Missed you, Monty. Hope you are rest. 1,500 that. bits. Thank you so much, King Kami drops. Ek, uh, Zuete Kahutli with a 2,720 bits. I, I know I butchered that. Graduated with my BS in biology in match in March. Just got accepted into my master's program for biology today. And you guys were there for me the whole way. I, thank you so much. And throttle those council members just like that feral dragon wannabe task. Wow. 2,720 bits. <laughs> Damn. Excuse you. <laughs> I, got, I got my BS in bullshit. That was me, though. But awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Spock Zombie with a 1,500 bits. Burfter bits. Burfter bit. Oh, and Streamlabs drops for me. Okay. this. So there is a problem with Streamlabs. I know that Draco is running into a lot of trouble. So um, just a heads up on that. Yeah, just keep uh, going. If we right, miss, guys, if we miss your subs or donations, we love you. We really love your 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 bits and your subs. Every every little bit helps us. Where so did you much. leave off on? I I I the last one I just called out the two uh, twenty two seven thousand seven hundred and twenty. Two thousand seven hundred and twenty. Yes, a very specific bit from from Nova. Uh, so you don't have Spock right after that with fifteen hundred. No, I do not. All right, I got you then. Uh, so okay. we've got Spock Zombie with 1,500 bits saying, Burf der Bits. We've yeah, got that's the one. Novi, yep, uh, Novi Gen with a tier one sub saying, on vacation with the family, just popping by to, in to say, I love you guys. Keep it awesome. Did you get that one? No? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we have that one. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, all those subs you were mentioning before aren't there. Okay. Uh, interesting. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Derpy Doggy, did you get them? The sub, yes, sub, subs. It's 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 oh, bits it's that are not bits. showing up. It's the bits that are not all of bits. It's it's random. Sorry, yeah, it just deleted up. My... Yeah, no. So yeah, there's something up with it here. So let ah, Derby Doogie, Vega Holy, Maca Brenoir, Hydrogatics, Grimlock, the last Carnosaur. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Mister Fuck 'em Up, two thousand one. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Hey guys, it's strange to have a crush just based on someone's voice. No, that's a thing. Cobalt in a trench on. coat. With a thousand bits. Thank you so much, Kobolds and a trench coat. This is the next bits I have. If there's anything in between, boss. Yep, there's something in between. So I got this. So bag of gold with a tier one sub. Uh, that's four months saying, is it time for praising Oriara? Oh, wait. That's all the time. We also have okay. Mac with a tier one sub saying, love you all. Bosco oh, is my second ba ba favorite. Bosco, we don't have time to read off every sub. Sorry. Right, we just well, need to kind of roll them all together. Sorry. We got to get to the bits. Do it. No, I, I need you to do it, though. Just don't uh, read the messages. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. We all can't right. read messages uh, for, sub, for subs. Grimlock, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. We've got uh, Hierogactix with a Twitch Prime sub. We've got Black Dragon Cleric with a thousand bits. We've got Zachary with five hundred bits. C Vanders with fifty bits. Black Fafair with the lead bits. We got the Freeman with a hundred bits. We've got Improved Furball with five thousand bits. Saying I dropped five K earlier since you said call out. Happy birthday, Taka! Thank you so much, and thank you so much for the ten thousand bits all combined. My God, Improved Hot Furball. Damn. Yeah. 10,000 bits from Improved for a ball, guys. That's a, that's a round of applause for them. Let's see. I've got uh, C. Vanders with a Tier 1 sub. Happy B-Day. We've got Argent Yal 13, 14 maybe, with 10 Argent Tier Lyle. 1 subs. Uh, do you have uh, – yeah, there you go. Uh, we got Oz with 10 subs. You got Oz on there? Yes, we 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 do. I'll take over from here. No worries. Right, take Cobalt's on a trench coat. Oh. Thank you for the thousand bits. Black Dragon Click with one thousand bits. Time to catch. Also, I was watching some old Unexpectables videos, and I have to say, you see, though, please, for the love of love of all the Cobalts, please bring back the duck call. One thousand bits from Black Dragon Cleric. I don't Zachary, know thank you for the five hundred bitty booze. Blackfoot Ferret with the elite bits. Hank Hill is a weeb. Sweet. By the way, Hank Hill does have a Japanese brother. Don't forget. Half uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. It's true. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. Improved fur ball. I dropped 5k earlier, so he said, call out. Happy birthday, Taka. Thank you very much again. Argent Lyle 13 with the 10 subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much, Argent Lyle, for the 10 subs. Very, 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 very nice of you. Big Art 61991. Thank you so much for the sub. Oz195 gifting 10 subs as well. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Oz, 
underscore 195. Drop in those 10 subs. Thank you so much. Lone Wolf Lord. Thank you so much as well. Viral Tech 1 with 1,000 bits. I found it. Monty's brain. Demonic screeching while hiding under the sofa. Hmm. Leave it right there. Viral Tech 1, thank you for the 1,000 bits. 321 to Gmo. Friendship is optional. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship optional, thank you. Muzzle Wizard 1, X Bella X3, Lycus Dark Fang, Bardic Phalanx, Daisy Head, SSF Shadow 101. Thank you so much for the subs. Greatly appreciate that. Goblins and Gambits. Angel Roche 14. Thank you so much for the bits. Just another clone. Disco Tech Priest, Shaggy's 952. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Real meta with 2,000 bits this week has been horrible, but finally I got something to enjoy. Thank you, guys. And also, happy birth, Monty. And also, I was on Hashtag birthday. freedom for champagne. It's just don't worry about it. happy birthday, Nadine. Real okay. <laughs> think about the 2000 <laughs> bits. Thank you so much. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're within proximity of each other. It's like this area. Happy birthday to this area. It's a... Disco with a thousand bits. Task is justice done. Alabast at peace for now. Winds blow from the east. Thank you, Disco Tech Priest. Uh, Rogue uh, Roger Gaming with 520 bits. Thank you so much. Ray Bothy, 1997, Neo Monkeyman, Print Equation, thank you so much. Real meta. I fucking meant talk, I'm sorry. Ah! Thank you. Uh, Dreadnunter, 335 with the 1,000 bits. Hey, Bosco, just an update on the Mass Effect game I ran on Sunday. All get down, and the Krogan went into a bloody rage. Also, the game is called Mass Effect D20. Yeah, I think it's the same game that I played. Well done. And, of course, the Krogan went into a bloody rage. They're broken in that system if it's the same one. Real Meta, McCleary, Zio Graymon, Dezib91, Yami97, Neko Hatter. Thank you so much for the sub, for the bits, guys. And Scarberjack33, holy shit. Dropping 5,000 bits. Happy early birthday, Taka. Well, thank you so much, Scarberjack33. Way, way, way too kind of you. But thank you so much. And let's go through here. I want to thank uh, everybody as well for all these subs and bits. I think we did the best we could, despite the we fact did. that Streamline doesn't want uh, us to remember Hey, guys, I, I found something in a box. Um, What's it came that? From, it came from Germany. I don't know what it is. Um, but if I if I pop it open, I... Wait, is that Shempai? Oh! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> there she is! I Wait a minute, move. Shempai's oh, here! Yeah, 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 they didn't find you! They didn't put <laughs> holes in the box! <laughs> I almost <laughs> suffocated! <laughs> <laughs> It's about time you got here. I knocked, lives! I knocked on the box like crazy. Did you guys not hear me? <laughs> I, in my defense, I was ignoring you. I thought maybe it would just stop. Oh. You should use your bonus well, action to tell you, us. If you, you, yeah, you should use, your, bon use your bonus <laughs> action to tell us where they can find you. Well, hold on, no, no, yeah. no, guys. Guys, we all have to roll initiative. We're going to keep talking over you. <laughs> No, oh, no. If you had sat on the box like five seconds longer, you might have killed me. No. <laughs> so that was. Damn, um, Goomba. I know! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Huh. What Fuck. a waste. Just go to bed and start over, dude. Christ. I, 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 I use, really, I really I use a reaction it. to buy a shipping label and put it back. Like, what the fuck is going on with this joke anymore? <laughs> Oh my god, but Chen, hey, Chen, by the way... Shanpai, Chen, where, where can we find you? <laughs> uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Shanpai. I wanted to say this as well, because, uh, but I I didn't find the area to say it. Uh, as funny as it is, my birthday is also on Friday. Oh, <laughs> shut shit. up! Oh, oh damn. my god! Uh, <laughs> now, well, guys, now you both need to fight so one it becomes the alpha. It's true. Only one person can be born on the third or third. That, that, that hey, really hey, depends on being the tail older. end of a Leo is fun. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, Crab Boy, that's me just going, man, I aged already. Before we start, since we have a quick second, can I ask Connor a question? Oh. Unless yeah. Shempai's uh, still going. Oh, I just wanted to say that. I'm yeah, let's still, promo Shemo. I'm, Shut up, Bosco. Get out of here. Shempai, what are you doing? I'm Go back I to the box. <laughs> no. Now you're talking over her. Um, I'm currently still playing Persona 5 Royale, which has been taking me a while, but uh, I'm getting close to the new content. Uh, and I'm going through that, and I'm also going to be streaming it on Friday, uh, and I will be giving away three copies of Persona 4 Golden on Steam, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. because it's my favorite game, and uh, if you're interested in that, you can find you know what you can do, <laughs> but uh, you can also find me on Twitter at uh, AeroViro, and that's pretty much all I have to say. I don't have any great announcements. I'm not successful. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, Bosco. Oh, it's oh, Bosco. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, wow, later, Chef, how many wow, people Chef, subscribe Chef, to your YouTube Chef, channel? How many no, subscribers? Like, like, no, like you guys are doing cool shit, like voice acting and like Chen, getting all these Chen, opportunities. Chen, Remind me how Chen, many subscribers Chen, you have. Don't, Chen, don't make me buy you a copy of Meat Game. Does Shep does Shep oh, like, no, does Shep have no, one million no. subscribers? Don't make me. Does Shep have over again. one million subscribers? Does Shep no, no. have as many regular concurrent viewers on Twitch as we do right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my I god, I wish I was like famous that. like Shenpai. I know, Shenpai. Right? I'm going back in the box. <laughs> okay, right. I'm okay with that. You're overshadowing us. It's hard to see. Here, I'm intimidated by her success. Shenpai, here, just get in. Right? Get in right. We're shipping you back to Germany. Yeah. We're going back to Germany. Donkey go. Shen. Donkey Shen, indeed. <laughs> All right. I, 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 okay, Shenpai's in the box. There she goes. We're shipping her to Russia, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're sending her to Abu Dhabi, like normal is sent. Are we good because to start? Senpai is yeah, the normal level. <laughs> Bosco, did you want to ask Con or something? Or oh, I, yeah, but I don't want to install the, I'll ask him during the break. Okay, cool. You guys ready? Yeah. I believe so. Well, I'm jealous Jet of Senpai. Senpai. Get her out of the box. Senpai, Senpai stop right, wailing anyway. like a ghost. So when last we left our heroes, Taz the Bosco, Cobalt don't Ranger. Take my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Re- Remy the dead Stay bird. Oh, shit. When last we left our heroes. Shut up. Alrighty. When okay, last we go? Remy, Remy, Remy playing with action figures a la Big Head. This is why I don't leave. Anyway. <laughs> you, let the, you let the fucking patients run the asylum, Monty. What yeah, I did. And and every time I leave, everyone's like, you would you go relax. I'm like, I can't relax because I know what's going to happen when You're I get back. You're probably wondering how we ended up in this situation. Well, let me start at the beginning. God. It's like herding cats. All right. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and a newfound friend in Abi the Construct Cleric, the party waged a violent battle against the dragon cult of Instruck and their twisted followers. Rallying slaves and striking back against their captors, the unexpectable struck a decisive blow, taking out legions of dragons and half-dragons alike. Task aloft in the ultimate weapon forged by the Cobalt Acolytes of Oriara, struck down Krigaram and sundered Darkus's attempt to raise up Instruck in a reanimated form. In a final desperate frenzy, Darkus attempted to kill Task to restart the reincarnation ritual, but was ultimately slain and banished into oblivion by Task and the newly formed aspect of Eos. Now, as the party takes a quick breath, they suddenly remember that there's a Discord devil that appeared out, Beans! I've maintained so, waste control! I need help! So, oh god, they... Damn it. <laughs> they... Dang it. Roll 20. What roll 20? They messed up my, my music again. But oh, you guys oh, don't need to re-roll initiative, because I have initiative here. So Task had his turn. Yeah. Uh, now it is Panic's turn, as you guys are like, yes, and then immediately turn over and see the Discord Devil currently geeking ah! it out with Borky. Ah! Fuck! It's beating my ass! It's large! That sounds like ah! a <laughs> uh, Bosco, make sure you're close to your microphone. You, your levels are dipping, and you're going up and down really, really, That's... like, oh, drastically. Yeah, you are. You need to stay close okay. to your microphone. Yeah. Man, that Discord Devil's got some really fucking wet slaps. So, ah! Panic, <laughs> it is now your turn. It's moist. Uh, in Infernal, I would like to shout, shout at the devil, um, I'll Ah! say, hey man, you're pretty clearly outnumbered here, we just did a lot of damage to things that are way bigger than you, I think standing down is in your best interest, buddy. Alright, roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Fuck off, fuck this thing. It's dumb. (laughs) I hope it works, Panic! (laughs) Demons are supposed to be the dumb ones. 18. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, this thing doesn't appear to register your words. What? Um, I fucking... It, language. Ah, oh, it didn't work, Panic! <laughs> Inferno. Inferno. Sorry. Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, it doesn't seem to register and seems to be uh, intent on attacking. <laughs> I didn't know Infernal Wait. was Cloud, Connor! I... <laughs> I'll just bonus action, give Mantle of Inspiration to Borky, Remy, uh, Greckles, Abby, and Taisk. What's the okay. max of temporary hit points can be? Um, 
Well, you get stack. the I mean, temporary you... hit points does not stack. You only ah. so if you get nine temporary hit points, the maximum you can have is nine. Okay. Um. Well, we we did just level up. You did. Yep. Yeah. So they are eleven temporary hit points now. Oh. Yeah. 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 So those oh, of, of you guys who are affected by a mantle of inspiration gain 11 temporary hit points, and you may use your reaction to move. Oh, boy. Oh, oh okay. Um, ah, it's hit me hard, lads. Sorry. Here. Thank you. Obby, did you want to move? Yeah, he's just going to climb black, 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 back on the dragon. Black on the dragon. <laughs> All right. Black. Remount onto the dragon. What was his name again? I wrote it down. But, uh, something the terrible. Yeah. Something that's yeah. Rasan the terrible. That was. There the you name. go. There he is. We are gonna call him Ross. Okay. Ross. <laughs> Ross. Ross. No. Why? This is. I'll be there for you. <laughs> oh man, he sounds like he sounds like Freeman's mind. Freeman. Fuck yeah. Alrighty. No, I'll uh, just say I'll just be at the tail end. We warned you. Okay, that's your action and your bonus action. Did you want to move? I believe it was Chandler. Uh, the um, I would know. I would know how far the resonance effect is, right? The resonance effect. Being uh, intimately is familiar 20, with these creatures. Within twenty feet of the creature. Okay. Uh, I'll just stay. I'll just stand by. I'll stand by. Okay. Alrighty. It is now the creature's turn. Uh, the percussion devil shakes its body, crashing the symbols on its back. <clears throat> Uh, I need everybody within 20 feet, which is Borky, Remy, and Greckles, to make a constitution saving go for me. Fuck, oh, good. I'm bad at those. You uh, are? That's off 20. 20. Okay. 12. Ooh, 12. Uh, Greckles and Remy, you are afflicted with resonance as this thing rattles and shakes, and the inside of your chest, almost like at a loud concert, begins to kind of boom and bellow within your lungs. Ow. I mean, this isn't Oh, good, Greg. Oh, good. Re Remy gets to enjoy this. Uh, <laughs> it is going to make two attacks. It's going to make one towards Borky and then one towards Greckles. See, this uh, is it's doing a left and right. No. So, Borky, the first attack is going to be against you. Uh, that is going to be. Uh, one second, let's check his bonuses here. Come uh, on. That's going to be a 13 to hit you. No! Okay, second attack against Greckles. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit you, Greckle. Yeah! Mm -hmm. oh. That hits? Okay. Uh-huh. Let me roll my Die Hard Dice. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, sponsored? Nice. Die Hard Dice. The official non-sponsor. <laughs> the official non-sponsor. <laughs> yep. Uh, you take... One second, I just gotta do bonuses here. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. As this thing swings around and bashes you with the back of its tail, you all hear this resonating gong noise as Greckles is slapped across the face by this creature. I'll actually try to uh, limbo dodge a little bit down so only gets the tip of my beak and uh, half that damage. Okay. You can't. Un uncanny dodge. You're you oh, yeah, you already your used your reaction. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Exactly um, right. It's whatever. It's like half the temp hit points. I do not care. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, that that ends the creature's turn. It ends the percussion devil's turn. Obby, it is now your turn. Uh, I assume I do not share an action with the dragon. <laughs> you can move with him. I'll say that. He's your friend. Okay. He's with you. He's your mount technically okay. right now. So. Sweet. My mount. Good. Uh, I want to move over here behind Remy. Right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to kind of climb... Over Ross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ross the dragon. I'm, I'm going to cast, uh, what is it called? Uh, you forgot the name. Goose? Dang it. <laughs> Wait, I was on my spell just now. Uh, Seer Smite. Okay. Uh, and then jump mm. down and use my spear against the professional level. Go ahead and roll attempt to hit there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. As well. you as oh, no. as you as you kind of leap like like brave style and you stab this thing and you all hear again another gong noise as the spear hits, but it doesn't hurt this creature. And you're like, oh, and you kind of scramble up using Ross's horns as like like a jungle gym kind of climbing <laughs> back up. He seems to tolerate it, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't go off. Does the gong shake my body? 
it does shake your body and you honestly kind of respond to the noise with your own body kind of ricocheting back. When you are close, <laughs> this thing is making an awful noise and it's like, imagine you're in a car shop and like there's heavy bass music playing and all the tools on the wall are just shaking in unison to the sound. That is what currently oh. is going through your, your head right now. Oh, my ear holes. Do you want to do anything else? You have your bonus action still. Uh, I don't know what I have. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Searing oh, Smite was your bonus action. That's right. Yeah. I had to take a painkiller, so I'm sorry. My brain's oh, not 100%. Yeah, no, I'm also being stupid. I should have known. I'm sorry. No worries. Alrighty. Uh, Remy, it is now your turn. Cool. I can hit this thing, right? Yeah, you can. All right. You can try to. Well, remind me what Resonance does to me again. Oh, right. You actually need to roll on your turn. So mm -hmm. I need you to roll a d10 okay. for me, sir. All right. Let's see what happens. I clicked it. Roll 20. Don't be slow. No, no, no. No slow. dreams for you. How damn. Let's try this again. Six. Six. Uh, ooh. As you run into this creature's range, suddenly your ears just start ringing, and there's almost like a concussive force in your head that creates a splitting headache in the back of your mind. You are going to take... Wow. 25 points of force damage as this okay. thing rattles in front of you and a concussive force blasts you back backwards. Uh, but it is now your turn, if you are still conscious. Yep, I am. Um, I gotta take nine off of this. So I can't believe you have to fight this fucking thing. <laughs> um, God damn it. Yeah, I know, right? Let me just double check something so I can see. Uh, it is, is that an action or a bonus action? Or what? It is a bonus action. So that's my bonus action. Uh, I'm going to use second win. So I need a D10. <clears throat> uh, so that's D10. So that's going to be nine plus my fighter level, which is 10. So that's 19 back. So fuck your couch. Um, Whoa. 40. Whoa. Whoa now. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. So now I'm going to use my action to beat the shit out of this thing. Uh... Do I know that this thing is sound-based, based on what just um, happened to You're getting the sense of it. You don't know exactly what this thing is. You've never seen something like this before, because Remy okay. did not go to the realm of Discord. So this is very foreign to you. Okay. Um, but based on the horrible, horrible noise it's making, you can only assume that it's based off of like that sort of thing. OK, well, then Remy's going to be smart and change tactical positions and come over here and flank okay. with Abby. And then we're going to hit it twice. All right. So, so long. Hit. Yep. So that's going to be a soft 20. <laughs> That'll hit. All right. The damage is going to be eight. Okay. And then he's going to swing again. That's going to be a 25. That hits. Yay. Go ahead and roll damage. And that's going to be another 11. 11. So a total of 19 wow. over two hits. Nice. You swing once and one of the symbols kind of like scatters to the ground and almost matches some of the bigger, like beautiful pieces of gold and, and copper. Um, and you swing a second time slashing and some of the symbols drop into the uh the loot and you kind of swing your sword back making two very solid strikes against this creature okay and that'll be turn all right uh it is now borky it is now your turn all right borky <laughs> cannot believe that he has to fight this thing so borky's gonna go into a reckless attack okay with advantage yeah, and so Porky's going to swing with Romfall down on this bad boy. You also get flank. Plus two. 26. Yeah. 28, that hits. 15 oh. plus three. That's 18 points of damage. One second. Uh, the math gets more and more complicated the longer we play this game. Mm -hmm. It's true. Uh, it's true. Three. That's true. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for all the coughing. My allergies kicked in really bad. No, oh, no. You were coughing? Oh, yeah, for real. We couldn't hear oh, you. Good. Oh, good. All right, you, sick. you slash into this creature and it buckles. Its arm is actually hanging on by a thread. Swing home, sweet chariot. And one more swing. There we go. And that is a 21. Thank God. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a 23. That does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. And that is 9 plus 3 is 12. 12. It is looking awful right now. And one more, a third attack, because I got a, uh, a roughly. You're in a luckily. frenzied rage, so yes. I am still in a frenzied rage. And one more! Out of boy! 19 plus 2, 21. That's 21 that hits, go ahead and roll damage. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. 15. Well, you bring down the sword clean through this creature and watch as its body is cast back into the realm of discord. <laughs> Ugh, Borky shoulders the blade. All right, let's take out Dark. Oh. Borky sees the darkness isn't there. <sighs> Tass looks up to the horizon. I'm looking for the for the remnants of the fucking explosion. Uh, yeah, go ahead and everybody roll a general perception check for me. Okay, here we go. Huzzah. 16. Ooh, that's a big 7. 23. 16. Oh. 22. 12. Okay. Um, Obby, Task, and Panic. Um, and Remy. First... Oh, wait. Where's Remy? 16. Oh. But I don't like you, so... <laughs> <laughs> You guys look out, uh, and you currently still see some fighting. A lot of after seeing Kriegerum fall, many you see many of the dragons fleeing. Uh, many of them are fleeing eastward. Um, others are just scattered. You see cultists like dropping their weapons and just fucking running. Um, as you watch, some of the slaves using the same chains that were used to bound them like choke people out and like just they're they're people are retaliating. Um, the town is in absolute chaos. Um, you guys look around, um, and you're searching specifically for, uh, the kobolds? Yes. Re yeah, Remy's specifically looking for winter. Okay. Um, you guys managed to find Gizmo and Gadget. Um, Gizmo, um, is currently, like, her, her metal arm is just gone. It got shattered in the explosion. Oh, um, nice. she seems like she's standing, but she definitely seems potentially concussed um so she's just like lying on some rubble right now just like not really moving um you find a uh, gadget who in some sort of inventing like brilliance had made a giant like like life jacket contraption that seemed to have cushioned the blow but he's currently rolling around and trapped in it um it's like a big inflatable <laughs> life jacket and it, it did cushion the blow but he can't move. He's currently restrained. I puncture it. With, I puncture it with an arrow. <laughs> it just deflates, and it's just a saggy leather mess. Um, Gadget is literally just like uh, just. I was just like literally just lying down. She's she's pretty much out of it. Um, you guys eventually find uh, Winter's Griffin currently digging at a spot. Oh, well, we dig as well. Out. Christ. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Remy, task, roll strength, uh, athletics checks. B Borky okay. was going to help out as well. We 19. Okay. 10. Uh, Borky, you cannot roll because you are not aware of the situation. Uh, only gotcha. they are. Yeah, you didn't pass your perception. I'm sorry. Dumb. Um. So tag team. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Remy, you kind of like grab a big beam of the house and lift it over. Um. <clears throat> And then task, you are like you got that digging instinct. You lived underground, so you're like you're shoving pieces aside, and eventually. And you with your legs, damn it! A piece. You guys both see scales of white under the stone, and you're able to drag out a very unconscious winter. Um, okay, well, first fucking thing ever, rolling third level cure wounds. Okay, go ahead. Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please. So. Again, don't mind the... F Listen, we yeah. have fun here at the Unexpectables. Don't mind it. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't worry about okay. it. Hold on, hold on. We, oh, no, no, there's more. But wait, there's more. All right, Damn. so 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, wow. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 HP. 26 HP. You press your hands on uh, to Winter, and you guys kind of like stand above, and eventually her eyes blink open. Uh, she looks delirious. Um, she's got one solid wound on her on her forehead, like a big gash that kind of runs um, from beneath her left eye that runs kind of past the bridge of the nose, up past the brow of her right eye. Um, and her arm is broken. She has one broken leg, one broken arm, um, and she looks really rough. Out of everyone, she probably had the worst landing, but she is conscious, but she cannot walk. She is well, completely uh, unable to walk. 
can we roll a medicine check? I was just going to ask, can we roll a medicine sure, check? Sure, absolutely. I would say either both of you guys roll a medicine check or one rolls with advantage if someone uh, else wants to I, I am not proficient in it, and I only have two. What do you got? I only have two, so I will tell you what. I will prop her up and let Task roll it with advantage. All right. Oh, please. Please. Let's go! 21. 21. Very Let's go. nice. You managed to uh, grab, like, nearby canvas, uh, probably from, like, some sort of manufacturing something or other, and you're able to make a makeshift sling and, like, something to at least keep the, the, the foot off the ground. Um, but beyond that, it's really bad. She's going to need, like, an actual, like, professional healer uh, or physician to look at her Can... to properly help, but she she's okay for now. We're, we're still in civvies, right? Mm hmm We're still in civvies? Yeah, like you guys are... Our... You guys, you guys are still, still in. Sorry, we're still in commoner clothes, right? So can Remy tear off like a sleeve? He wants to make a makeshift uh, sling for her arms. I, I, I already them. just described that. Oh, I thought that was for her legs. Sorry. No, it's for both. You guys did it for both. Oh, we did it for both? Check. Oh, perfect. You did it for both. You guys are fine. Yeah. All right. Well, let's um, get Gizmo and Gadget on their feet. Yeah, Gizmo and Gadget, you like go to get Gadget up and you grab her art metal arm. It just falls off the body. You're like, oh, and you kind of oh. toss it aside. <laughs> uh, Aubrey, Aubrey's going to like run right over there and just like be like, I, are you guys okay? Uh, uh, she kind of just waves her hand dismissively, kind of touching your cheek, Aubrey, like drunkenly, like just like, uh, you, yeah, you. Yeah. She looks at you and like opens her eyes and looks at you very firmly. You did done good, kid. Slap, slap. You did done good. <laughs> and her head rolls oh, back. No. <laughs> he like looks around a little bit shocked. <laughs> Abby, I think they need professional medical attention back at the mountain. Yes. Sorry, I'm a bit out of it. Is you guys here. Oh, sorry. You guys hear a triumphant roar nearby as, like, the slaves seem to have um, taken down a dragon. Um, they, Whoa. yeah, the, the people of Alabast, you gotta remember, the people of Alabast are trained warriors. Most of them, if not all of them, are. Mm -hmm. um, so the moment, like, the half-dragons and the cultists began to fall, they started getting weapons. Um, so you're now seeing them take down dragon wormlings. <laughs> Um, and other such things now. And as the chaos ensues, eventually it comes to a lulling quiet as the remaining cultists flee, leaving this very, very destroyed town uh, into a strange sense of quiet calm. Uh, do we return back to where everyone else is? Yeah, you guys return to the plaza of the city. Um, many of the slaves who are working on the circle panic you watch. They're now taking mops and are like cleaning up the circle and just getting rid of it. Like they're sabotaging it in great frustration and anger, removing it and making it null and void. Excellent. Cool. Uh, do, is there anyone we are aware of that we see? Um, you see, um, uh, I believe his name was, um, oh God. I'm wrong. Omrog, there we go, thank you. Uh, you see you. apparently Omrog kind of taking up the mantle of leader and like helping instruct people who are injured to one area, people who are able-bodied to another area. Uh, he's able to converse with the orcs as well because he is he himself is an orc and he's able to talk to them and, and instruct them on what to do. Um, he's taken good control of the situation and there's currently a supply line of people um, who are assessing who's alive and who's missing um, and they're figuring out what to do. They have some prisoners. Um, there is a white half dragon who has been taken prisoner and a handful of cultists who have been taken prisoner. Um, and then there's Ross, um, who people like charge, but Abi, you managed to convince them to leave him alone. Um, and he's just kind of scoffing at his once companions. He's just looking down upon them like, oh, these losers. They're not <laughs> like... <laughs> He's he's all nice. about the Oriara now. Yeah. Nice. What's, what's, like, what's that chuckling iguana thing like? <laughs> quick, quick, yeah. quick, quick, quick. Yeah. That that is a uh, that is a thorny devil. They actually can shoot blood out of their eyes. Fun fact. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he's currently like sitting next to you, Abby, not leaving your side and kind of being like your right hand man right now. It's kind of great. He's gonna pet him like really with his metal arm, just kind of like touch his leg because that's all he can reach. <laughs> Um, Omrog approaches the party and goes, Well, I can say what you did, um, there's no words to describe it, really. 
We, uh, hmm? no, no, go on, go on, go on. Oh, no, I was just, Tass was just going to say, well, we're glad we were able to at least assist and get most unscathed out of the situation. We lost about 30 people, a bit of a shame, but, um, we fought back. And it looks like most of the bastards escaped, the one that didn't, we didn't kill. Uh, we got uh, a few prisoners, one of their admirals, and then some of their, well, runts. He kind of points over to the cultists, currently being all tied up in the exact same way you guys were earlier uh, with the magical good. manacles. Should currently, we be worried about them? Sorry, should we be worried about them regrouping? Eh, I think uh, we might have uh, taken the wind out of their sails for now. And he kind of turns and nods towards you, Task. Their uh, demigods gone, so they're not feeling too confident anymore. Uh, right now, we're trying to tend to the injured. If you got any, take them over to the tents over there. And he points over to a bunch of tents where there are some people who are basically just like tending to people with broken arms and taking uh, winter know, over there. I was going to yeah. say, winter's getting scooped up and taken over there with her griffin. Okay. Her griffin's fine. Uh, it's just, you know, worried. Um, but you watch as Volo kind of flies next to um, her griffin and just kind of like. Volo's um, back! Um, yeah, Volo's here. Volo's Woo! fine. Um, and then uh, you watch as uh, Amrog kind of turns back and goes, we're digging through some of the stuff, and he jabs a head towards uh, the big pile of money. A lot of it's stuff we don't know, but people have valuables in there, so we're sorting through. Um, if there's anything you're looking for, you might want to go take a look at the piles. We got it all sorted out based on I'll, armor, amulets. I'll, I'll, we'll know. I'll, actually, I'll actually go over there and, and recover our gear, gentlemen. Detect magic. Oh, there's a lot of more magic things, but you can go over there. Um, they currently have like a bit of a um, like a, an assembly line. Weirdly enough, they got a, they escaped the assembly line and now they're making their own, sorting through the different objects. Um, and as you go there with the tech magic, you're able to help them sort the magical ones and the non magical mm -hmm. ones. Um, and as they're going through, you can find your gear. Um, so all of your gear is recovered because it hasn't uh, left that sweet. pile. Sweet. One one yeah. thing one thing Greckles will be doing is keeping an eye out for anyone trying to pocket anything. Sure. Roll I would say roll an insight check on the I, attempt line. I um a panic. What's that? Ugh. You see there's a lot of money here in a big pile. I see that, Borky. Why don't you uh where's that portable hole of yours? How loud is this? Being whispered to the point where a bird can't hear it because You're the bird so hates lucky fucking. Remy's not there. Is it bad if we steal this money? Hmm. Depends on how much of it was the towns and how much of it was the cults. Poor keeps like stroking an invisible beard. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll I'll just I'll just pat him on the chest. We'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. We'll get this all taken care of so that we get the most bang for our buck. Uh, so yes, you guys get all your gear back, including armor, weapons, all of it's accounted for. Yes. Um, the Should remaining we... amounts of money, um, people, like, there, there's a weird sort of sense of what's going on. First of all, everybody is, like, overjoyed. Um, many people are injured, um, but there's a lot of people who are just lost um, and are looking at Omreg for guidance because he seems to be the only one currently kind of salvaging the situation in a very like organized way. Um, there's just, there's just piles of coins and people like there's this air about it where people don't want to touch it because they've already dealt with so much tyranny they don't want to you know turn to like arguing or fighting because they all just survived this horrible ordeal. Uh, but obviously they have to do something with it. They don't want to leave it behind. So, um, but they have no way of carrying anything. Um, there is about 215 people who uh, is a survivor of this incident. If I can um, make a suggestion, just kind of calling out to the general people. Husbands have been lost. Wives have been lost. Children have been lost. Places of businesses has been lost. If I could be so bold as to say that we take this money back to Alavast and start a fund for those who have lost the greatest of things. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of money to rebuild not only the foundations and the buildings of the city, but also people's lives. 
Uh, you look over and you currently see like a, a, a male dwarf holding this portrait, like this golden framed portrait of a female dwarf. Mm -hmm. And you see him just a single tear running down his face. And just oh, God nodding. damn it. <laughs> People died here. People sort of died here. Yeah. yeah. Um, the dwarf's doing it. hurts even more. <laughs> you watch as uh, Omre goes, everyone, there's a storehouse with sacks. They were used for potatoes. Carry what we can for food. See if we can salvage some carts. Everyone takes one sack of gold each, but we use it to deliver it to the city. Understood. Anyone caught stealing, well, we'll add to the death toll. There will be no tolerance for this. I and second that. There's a general, like, mumble of agreement amongst everybody. For now, everybody, I think it goes without saying, let's get, a, let's get some rest in. We can tend to the injured and the sick. We can get a good meal in our bellies. And we can make our way back home. How many of these people look like they're not from Alabast? Um, roll an insight check. I'm really good at this now. Or just actually perception would be probably more accurate. I'll let you use the insight. That's, oh. that's good enough. <laughs> um, there is a majority of the people here are from Alabast. That's um, 23, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 23. Um, a majority of the people here are from Alabast. Um, half of them look like they lived in this town before it was you know, became what it was because this was a city first and then the cult attacked. So a majority of people here look like they are, like you can even see them wandering in and out of buildings that appeared to be their homes. A majority of them are people who were like, who lived in the city. This was, this was a second, like this was the second largest city to the city of Alabast itself that existed and it got taken over. Um, the other half, or at least the other like 30% looks to be the people who are taken from, from Alabast and the onslaught. Um, they appear to be the more able-bodied individuals, less farmers and more of like mercenaries, fighters, blacksmiths, like more city folk. Um, the rest are the, the orc, uh, the orc, uh, clan that Borky was mm. kind of in charge of, um, and just various groupings of probably wandering nomadic people. There are like, there's like a group of five bugbears that look so lost right now, but are really happy to be free. Um, there's even um, a couple of goblins um, uh, and one one particular creature that is very strange to all of you uh, and appears to be like kind of doing its own thing. Um, it appears to be a like a bipedal yak man, for lack of a better term. It is a yak person. Walking Sorry. And yeah, and seeming rather lost. Oh, real quick before that, uh, Borky would like to uh, get on one of the highest plinths and clap his hands as loud as he can. Okay. Bone axes! Borky yells out. Okay, the they all gather. They all they all gather in front of you, and even some iron claws actually show up too. You can recognize them by some of the the symbols on them. There are two iron claws here, probably. Blood axes and two iron claws as well. Through the fire and brimstone of this fight against this cult, we find ourselves comrades in arms. Now we and a bunch of others are heading back to the city of Alavast. A city with many kinds of people from all around the world. However, if you wish to go back to the mountain, by all means, go back to the mountain. Uh, many no of the orcs talk amongst themselves, and one one steps forward. This orc seems to be maybe about five years older than, than Borky is. Um, he is wearing kind of like a long leather robe. It's weird. It, it's like this really thick robe. Um, he's more portly, but he's got a really strong face to him and, and kind of like a face of experience. And he steps and goes, War Chief! And he calls up to you. Our lands have been ravaged, this is true. Let us rebuild, and we will give you an army worthy of Oriara. Bor Borky points, what is your name? My name is Targon. Targon. In my stead, you will be in charge. He goes down to one knee and nods his head in, in sort of like an honorific sort of bow. Borky, Borky, with not knowing what to do, just knights him with Ronfald. Okay. You are now <laughs> the in charge until such time as I am back. Now, 
if you see any of the other orc tribes, any of them, <laughs> you are all at peace now. There will be no fighting until a fight worth having happens. Until then, we get stronger to release what makes us orky upon those who seem to think they can walk all over us. Ahem, <laughs> you see now kind of crawling between one of the legs of the orcs, you see uh, Gizmo in his deflated balloon kind of walking <laughs> up towards you. I, I may, if I may speak. Yeah. Seeing as how the orcs now, and he kind of turns all the orcs and he kind of sweats a little goes, ha <laughs> ha. Seeing as how the orcs now have appeared to have come to their senses on matters of uh, friendliness, perhaps uh, it would be wise for both the kobolds of the uh, Mountain of Repetition and the blood axes of the lands, the plains of beyond, perhaps we may work in tandem for, you know, a glorious future for both. Targo. It's Targan. Targan, go with this kobold and see the bounties of what an alliance between the two could truly give. No longer will the blood axes just be fighters. They shall be warriors, bedecked, armored, and weapons deserving of such. They nod and begin to all roar and raise up their chains and like throw them into a fire in defiance. And Targan nods and goes, we shall make way now. And they kind of turn and nod and make their way. Hey, Monty. Uh, yep. Oh, who's somebody going to say something? I was just going to say we now have the possibility of uh, Warhammer 40k orcs in this campaign. Mm -hmm. We might True. have mech boys. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, God. <laughs> Monty, while that's going on, can I talk with Task near the, uh, the tent where we're yeah. dropping off winter? Unless anyone has anything else they want to do, for the most part, you guys are being given meals, um, really watered down, like uh, kind of grog and uh, like a very simple meal. Uh, while, while that it's, was, oh. it's all they have, so it's what they got. Um, <laughs> it's better um, than nothing. While all of this, while this is happening, because like Abby obviously doesn't eat or drink, he's gonna be like, because he's never seen something like this before uh this or like this amount of destruction so he's going to be like walking around and like literally seeing everything and taking everything in and almost seeming completely out of it all the dead people all the dead oh no he's people that fought busy. yeah <laughs> and just touch like broken walls and broken stone i'll walk up to abby Hey, noticed you uh, look kind of lost. This is a victory for you guys, is it not? It's a victory for a lot more than us. It's a victory for all the survivors of this horrible, horrible <laughs> cult. Who knows what they'd have done if we hadn't stepped in. But it's not a victory for the innocent lives that have been lost, is it? No, not really. But the most we can do for them is live on. I understand. You know, lives tragically cut short. I'm sure none of them deserve this. That's just what happens sometimes. We can't control fate. Do you... Do you think I have killed innocent people? Uh, well, that depends. Have you killed anybody before we met you? No. This is the then, first time I've been in this form of battle. Then no. Well, no. The okay. uh, the people you have killed, they uh, they all deserved it. Will you guys be okay from now on? 
Panic sort of looks over his shoulder at the group and uh, does does that thing where he sucks in his lower lip and nods, just like, yeah, I think we'll be all right. So I mean, we succeeded. We made it yeah? here. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without you, though. <laughs> You've done a good thing, of... Abby. <laughs> he kind of like looks down and looks a little bit shy. Th thank you. I somehow not, I don't feel as bad as I did before. Uh, can, can Task wander over to them? Yeah, absolutely. Task like waits for the conversation to end and stands looking at Obby. Obby looks at Task after. Yeah. Task produces the staff given to him by Robold. Uh, Obby, you immediately recognize the staff. There are depictions yeah. of the staff all over the place where you're from. <laughs> In my travels, I was given this, and I was told to give it to someone who is deserving, someone worthy of Oriara, and that person was you. Oh, are you sure? I hand it to him, no, no questions asked. Uh, he just takes it. <laughs> as you take it, it actually changes in, in size to fit you perfectly. I am not, I am not sure how to use it, but for you, I will find out how. You don't need to do it for me. You've done enough and admirably so. Now it is time for you to do it for Oriara. You're right. He kind of like waves it around, like looks at it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's like swinging it around, hitting people. Making lightsaber sound effects, you know, like <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Uh, <laughs> Shen, Shen, Shen Pai, I love you to bits. Do you have a fan going in the background? We're hearing a whom, 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 whom noise no, in the background. Should, it should not be. I have nothing. One second. Oh, weird. Hmm. Yeah, I thought someone was kicking something. Yeah, it sounded like a like a washing machine or a dryer in the background or like a fan or something. I am serious. There is nothing. <laughs> oh my oh. god. It's the spooky ghost. <laughs> Wait, I might have to. Oh, uh, this is going to be bad. That's I okay. might have to re, uh, re plug my microphone. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not that bad. I was just wondering if there's something going on in the background. Um, yeah, you take the staff in your hand. Um, it also works as a spear. Um, and it is notably the staff that basically is the key to Oriara's realm. You can use it to seal Oriara's realm at the top of the mountain. Um, only the gatekeeper can, can, can hold on to it and keep it. Uh, it is a very significant religious, like, artifact that you have now in your hands. You are gonna... Oriara's new pope. Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah. He's going Wait, to that... hold it really close now. He yeah. outranks Log. Technically. <laughs> uh, you guys get food and drink. It's nothing mm. spectacular, but it is something that sustains you. Um, there are people who are pulling out musical instruments and just like celebrating their freedom, while there are other people who are mourning the loss of their loved ones. <laughs> the night takes the camp. Um, I'm assuming you guys take a rest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did uh, you guys say something? Yeah, you, as you guys kind of set up for the night, uh, Bosco, you kind of walk up. Bosco, Remy, <laughs> uh, Remy, you walk up to task as you guys are kind of laying out your 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 bed rolls in like separate little areas as people are still drinking and, and talking over the campfires and, and speaking about you know filling up the carts and and how they're going to arrange the caravan back to Alabas. Uh, task Remy's didn't gonna... move. Uh, task did not move from the. Uh, from the medical tent where winter was he just sits in a chair and like stares off into space almost like hearing tinnitus after everything that's happened and just staring off into the ceiling uh remy will be there and he'll take a seat uh next i assume winter's probably sleeping after being yeah tended. she's she's currently being tended to she seems to have like um come down with a bit of a fever just from the broken broken limbs but uh, there are two women who are taking care of him, an elf woman and a human woman, who seem to kind of know what they're doing. But for the most part, these are mostly just civilians. Um, the most like medically knowledgeable appear to be here. And they're getting the job done, but it's they're, they're currently like talking about how they're going to fit, fit the injured and all of the gold and stuff onto the carts and, and mm -hmm. kind of talking with people about that. It's, it's all just like... a like a day trip nightmare essentially where they're, they're trying oh, to figure out 
Um, you even see that there are dwarves trying to make carts like last minute from what remains of the town and, and quickly making them um, using magic and whatever means possible to them to make this possible. But generally, mm. generally you got half of people who can't really do anything who are celebrating, uh, another half of people who can't really do anything who are mourning. And then um, the kind of the, the guild artisans who are working on making these carts and then the physicians who are currently taking care of the injured. And then Omreg is kind of like instructing everybody. Can can I as Obby just be with Ross and like kind of try and talk to him about everything that happened? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ross is like Sweet. Ross is like sitting on top of a building, looking so smug and proud of himself right now. Like hell yeah, I chose the winning <laughs> side. I'm the best. I'm the smartest dragon. Look at me. <laughs> he is getting some nervous glances, um, and like a couple of people like are just like uh, praise Oriar, and he goes yes and nods, and they kind of just walk by him like just nod okay. solemnly. <laughs> But yeah, Aubrey's gonna pretty much be like, he's he's friendly, he's friendly, don't worry about it. Ooh, yeah, staticky, Shempai. Shempai? Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. Her microphone. No! <laughs> Her microphone had to go. It had somewhere to be. Uh -oh. Crap. Oriara said it is time. It's time to help me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, just Shempai, save your audio and just we'll resync. So just re refix up your microphone and we'll just resync. No worries. You want me to have my talk with Task while she's fixing that? Yeah, we can do that while okay, while cool. she's fixing that. Uh, so Remy's going to walk into the tent and see all that. He will have Task's bedroll that I assume he laid out and is not using. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh -huh. just going to put. He's just going to put it next to Task, who probably looks like shit. Yeah, you've got no. like big slash marks on you from fighting Darkus, but yep. you're you're healed up a bit. I just got a fucking yeah. vacant look on my face. Does this sound better? Yeah, yes. you sound way better. Oh, there you are. Okay. Also, the whoop 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 should be gone because it's not popping up on my identity. Okay. All right. Good. Perfect. All right. Let's we all get to sync. Let's sync. Okay. Oh no, it's still going. It's oh, okay, it didn't good. stop. Oh good. Oh. All right, cool. Hey. Oh, perfect. Awesome. All right, good. Yeah, it's just it's just showing that like the waves are not happening anymore. So okay, I it, I just had to replug it. All right, Thank chat. You. We don't need to zinc. Sorry, yeah, chat. Sorry, sorry, chat. No sync. No zinc. Zinc. Canceled. We're gonna doing every, They're probably doing everything but that, to be fair. <laughs> I am sorry chat. again. Sorry. Right. No worries, you're fine. We love you. Tasks Yay. like fucking glaze, like just like drifts to the bedroll and then looks over to Remy, but like he still like doesn't move. I don't expect you to use it, but I thought I would bring it to you. How are you feeling? I don't know. It's a fair response. I'm... I'm just letting ten years shed away. That's what's happening right now. I'm... Time is... I've literally walked through time itself, Remy. And now it's all catching up to me. And I'm finally free after 10 years. Make no mistake. For the first time in 10 years, I feel genuine joy. I just You'll don't know Remy. how to convey it. You'll see Remy smile. I think you are conveying it. And he'll kind of nod his head towards winter. You're finally focused on something that isn't darkest for once. You care about yeah. her, don't you? I know the others don't feel that it's something worth pursuing, or at least I believe that's my mind telling me that I can only express and feel joy once the job was done. And now I'm sitting here wondering if I actually can take that opportunity. I guess I'll give you the same advice I gave to Greckles. Don't keep looking back. Task lets out a genuine smile across his face. I don't intend to anymore. Good. Because she needs you to look forward. Maybe I can ask her to look forward with me. <sighs> well, if you do, you better treat her right. She's like a sister to me, you know. That I understand. Speaking of, yours would be very proud of you. 
I can agree with that. Tess, it's like smile whines a little bit, and now there's tears. Doesn't doesn't gonna... look doesn't look away. He just like it's just slowly coming out of his eyes. Remy's going to walk forward and extend his arm, not for a handshake, but you'll see the way his talons are positioned for like a forearm warrior shake. It's just like fucking no hesitation, just goes in for it. He's then going to yank you up and give you a hug. All right, bro hug, why not? Yep. Oh, you guys hug. He's going to leave the bedroll there. He's going to take one last look at Winter. And then he's going to walk out and go to bed. Worst case scenario, if Taz doesn't use the bedroll, he's just going to fall asleep in the chair. Okay. Yeah, you're, it's like a it's like a cut log. Like, there's no chair. It's like just like a someone's chopping block that's just been repurposed. I mean, I'm sure, do. like, he'll either, like, he'll either just sit there, like, stupid anime style where the dude, like, sleeps there for, like, in the sitting position, or he'll just, like, fall over on the bed and just go to bed. No, hands behind your head looking up at the stars. It's in fucking imperative that every protagonist listen, does listen. that. Listen, listen. I don't believe Task is in a good position to be in a Tetis position here, but you know what? He's happy now. Why not? Okay, yeah, laugh it out. Listen. Come on, Let knock him laugh out, Task. <laughs> yeah! Laugh it out, bro! I mean, dude, it's in fucking... It's actually in, in taste because, again, Task has been so emotionally stunted. He's like, how do I laugh? Fuck, how do I do this? <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have want anything to do before they go to sleep? Uh, Borky would uh, like to, uh, to see Obby as well, if that's possible. Okay. Uh, Obby, you have been tasked by Gadget and Gizmo to help with the cart since you don't sleep. <laughs> yeah. So you can you can work a little bit longer than any everybody else and help make these carts because they're kind of really necessary. Yeah. You hear uh, Borky kind of just sit down, place the wrong foot. Was on his haunches. It's been a long day. Oh, baby. <laughs> yes. You did good today. You got me me sword. You brought it to me at a time of need, Obi. And for that, I got to call for a high five. Put it here. Borky points it down low at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> Avi just kind of like looks and he's like, how do you do a high five? Here's, here's how a high five works. You see, I thought a high five was, I did not know it was because five is the number of fingies everyone has. Avi looks at his hands. He has obviously only four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this kid is like fucking just like going through a crisis already. When you succeed or do something awesome, or something great happens between friends, it gives you a high five. So I think you deserve a high five. So put it here. And you slap it with your hand, by the way. Obvious just puts both of his hands up and in front of his hands just goes... No, yes. you gotta hit my hand, Obi. You gotta hit my oh, hand. Oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Here, watch this. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> that, that was well done. High five. And hey. the five is indicated by the fingers. So for me, it would be a high four. Mm. Now, Obi, just so you know, he's heading back to the mountain, right? Yes, that is where I belong. Oh, well. well. I mean, that's where home is. But now if you ever come to Alavash, she's welcome in our pub. That's also a home away from home, too. It, and you wouldn't be the first construct to be in there. As a matter of fact, uh, kind of have a church right next to it. <laughs> I would have to ask my baltiness first. Well, hopefully they say yes. Besides, I feel like we've done Oriar some good on this little jumped away from the mountain and when you go back to the mountain you're going to be one of the most worldly traveled of all the constructs who live there mm. and the kobolds mm. and the orcs actually kind of as you guys are both sitting there you kind of both look over you see gadget and gizmo looking at like a cow patty and they're like what is this strange substance like poking <laughs> it with a stick and they're it came from the sky. <laughs> a handful of it <laughs> They just seem to be perplexed by the complexity of the... Because they're on a mountain, it's like rock, and they're like, what's this mud? I've never seen this before. So. <laughs> you know, I, I've met a lot of gods, Obi. Hmm. 
oddly enough, for beings you know, called like. I mean, I want you to know that Oriara might be the nicest one. So you've got yourself a good gold. Just make sure they treat the orcs I'm standing there away with some respect. So keep an eye out for them. That'd be great. I'm Morky pretty wings. sure. I'm pretty sure that was her intention. Mm. It's been an absolute delight there, Obby. Morky. Uh, what? He kind of looks down and puts his hands together and kind of like twiddles his fingers. I, I want to thank you guys as as well. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten to see the outside world. I have never used my powers to the extent that I have, but thanks to you guys, I feel like I understand myself more. Orky smiles. I didn't realize who I was until I left my home. When I found my way here to Alavast. Hey, Albie? Hmm? You're a good person. Never let them change that. He kind of like, it's like a little chuckle. It almost sounds, well, obviously imitated. From the uh, times uh, we uh, 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 uh. You laughter. <laughs> I promise I will keep, I will not change. I will only become stronger. And when when we meet again, you will see it. That we will. And maybe next time you slaughter any more. Even more enemies because you're a killing machine, Obby. You killed so much. <laughs> oh, okay. He like put, goes into like his overall and brings out the sandwich. Do you want this? <laughs> oh sure, I'm hungry. Okay. Or cheese out of the sandwich and takes a bite of it. Okay. Uh <laughs> Boriki, you take a bite of the sandwich. Uh, whatever hit points you're missing, you automatically get all of them back. Stop! <laughs> Just one what? bite? Just one yeah. bite? You eat, you eat it, and like the magic enters your body. It's no longer magical, but you are healed completely to full health. <gasps> Is that the oh. brood bitch? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It's the best, it's the best the way, goddamn sandwich I ever had, Aubrey. It is. It's the most delicious thing you have eaten, and you've eaten Ty Borpington's food, but it is the most oh delicious thing you've ever eaten. Is the second bite as delicious? Uh, no, it's not. It tastes oh, like no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I'm going to compare everything to that first bite! Oh, oh, no. You're what a character. This taste is now fucking ruined. No, I, above game, Borky just flower for Algernon, his, blood, his taste buds. It's the worst! <laughs> Um, Monty, yeah. I don't know if this will matter to you or to anyone else in the party, but when he's not needed for work, Greckles is just kind of sitting in front of whatever's fire, whatever fires near him, and okay. just like staring, meditating. You all have never seen him do this, except for maybe you, Remy, when when you two would meditate together on occasion. But this is like some weird hyper focus uh, that that. Greckles is, is exuding right now. Can I can I sit down next? Panic will walk up to him. Oh Jesus! Oh, panic's all over it. Never mind. Go do it. <laughs> got it. Panic cartwheels into scene. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> oh jeez! I have to mention your literally. Why is it with the dragon? <laughs> what's what is it? Friends? Do 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 that noise play? Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's panic. Panic shoves him out of the way. Dimension door. Hi, this I believe is my plot advancement. How are you, Greckles? <laughs> <laughs> um, Panic, as you approach him, and even as you sit down, his he has like a half closed look, like a half closed eye look into this fire, and you can actually just see the licks of flame reflecting off of his pupils. It's just that intently focused. Mm. You look like you saw a ghost. I'll, I, I'll I'll use thaumaturgy to turn change the uh, change the fire into uh, blue to get his attention. Uh oh. Uh, you know, ooh, you you say that, but I may have seen three. Three. Panic! I can't really explain it, but there's something in the fire. Something recognizes me. Something 
is encouraged to see me. When I ran for Remy, to at the very end, I saw a figure. I couldn't make it out, but the six-foot humanoid figure. When we were with the Cobalts, uh, I, I was helping press sheets of metal, and and I saw a, a, a dancing fire spirit in in the form, and I can't remember what his name was, but but I I saw a, a dancing flame as if it was excited to see me. Something. It feels like it's trying to reach out to me. And now that everything's done and taken care of, and once we get home, I think I need to look more into that. Maybe attune myself more to it. Try to see what may or may not really be there. And listen with a more open ear. He's just stroking his chin spikes as, as Greckles is talking. You jumped through that wall of fire. Did it burn you? It did, but in a way, it just didn't matter. You know, Greckles, when I was first contacted by Ith, it was uh, during moments of great peril when I felt in the forest when we were going to confront the Silver King that I was the biggest piece of shit on earth. Or when I got killed nearly by that bearded devil in Canary's Perch. I talked to Task and Aeos contacted him by making the world go completely like everything just stopped. Maybe this is another sign of things to come. I have given that some thought. There was just too much else going on to really sit down and think about it, but... I don't know, maybe it is something. There's... Mm. There's so much, I still have to... decompress. There's that... There's that... Yeah. Phoenix, there's that... You, you hear him under, mutter under his breath, just very faintly. I have to figure out who that Phoenix Kenku is. Phoenix? Oh. Um. Hey. During, hmm? You can talk to me. I know, Panic. I, I know I can talk to you. I know I can talk to any of you. It's not that. It's that... For so much of my time when we first met... I spent so much time looking behind me, looking into my past and trying to make sense of it all. But now, after everything that I've been through with you guys, with Willow, everything, I wonder if it's even worth the time to think about. It's, it's, it feels foolhardy to constantly look back, you know, think about what was and instead of what is. I, I have everything that I could want. I I have a family. I I have insight. a people. Oh, okay. Do you allow the insight check? I suppose so, yeah. Okay. I what just, are you, what I are you just, trying to insight? I am trying to glean if he means this genuinely. If not not gen I'm trying to glean if he's trying to lie to himself. Okay. Uh go if if Gaijin, you're okay with it. Panic, go ahead and roll an insight check. And Greckles, go ahead and roll the persuasion check. Persuasion? Yep. <clears throat> Unless you are trying to or deny deception. it. And in that case, that's deception. So it's up to you. Oh. I mean, if you are, you if know, you are being I, honest with your feelings, persuasion. And if you are being dishonest with your feelings, then then I, okay, deception. Okay. I, I guess I'll go persuasion then. That is a choice you make, Kenku player. Okay. Uh, we match. 14 Hi. for 14. Aggressor wins. So aggressor wins. That means panic. Uh, you you succeed. So what is Greckles feeling right now? Greckles is feeling a lot of conflict, but he genuinely means it when he says that he's happy, that he really does believe you guys to be family and for Alavas to be the thing uh, that he can protect. the whole, Not only the home he can protect, uh, but the people under him that he can protect. That's... When he speaks about that panic, 
there is a weird sort of sense of duty that is kind of rare coming from him. This, despite being more lawful than you would expect someone with his kind of background to be, but when he speaks of protecting Alavast, protecting its people, it is an assurance. It is it is a focus that you've not really heard from him when it comes to other matters. The only other time that it may even come close is when he talks about Sully. Mm. But he's he's genuinely happy uh, about everything that's been happening. But he, he's also not lying when he talks about how conflicted he is about is it worth thinking about the past? It, it's happened so long ago at this point, and there's been so much more in his life now. Is it actually really worth it? Hmm. You know, Greckles, when I left Tricadia as Virgil Vathrius, I wanted to just leave my entire life, my 16 years there behind me, never think about it again. And for the most part, I think I was right. I still wanted to find my mom, but, well, I, I, after I did, it made me start thinking, you know, about home, about how wouldn't it be great to, uh, you know, try to combine my life now with my life back then. Maybe talk to my father again. So, um, what I'm trying to say is, uh, you know, whatever you choose, we're here for you. And we'll help you. And if, again, you want to talk about this more, you know, my door is always open. He smiles very sincerely when you when you say that you and everyone else is willing to help. But before that, when you talk about wanting to merge home and wanting to go back and see your father, to go back and try to bridge those two lives together, you see him start to just tear up and and tears do streak down his cheek and he looks up to you. How could I ever bridge that together? How could I ever bridge that level of rejection? All of my friends, my family, the person I loved. How could I bridge that panic? hes I, I understand he's not giving you a lot of context, but that's kind of the point, because he's wrestling with that real hard. Brow sort of raises up. Panic. I've lost so many people in that life. I lost Yukiko. I lost Yagiri. I lost Amachi. I lost Tomegi. I lost everything. Every thing. And I was in exile. How could I go back to that? How could I even bridge it? How would I ever see Yukiko again? How would I ever see my old friends again? They're, they're an entire world away. What point is there to look back, Panic? It sounds like this is painful for you. Probably more painful than I realize. But by now, I think with the standing that we have and let's face it, the power that we have at our disposal is anything really beyond our grasp at this point? Not even just 
physically going back to the Eastern Isles, but reuniting. If there's one thing I've learned about friendships, it's that they don't break off that easily. Feelings can't break that easily, Grekos. And I don't really know the context behind most of this, and I'm assuming you've been talking with uh, Remy more than the rest of us, but true friends and real love doesn't wane that easily. Then... Then what if the people that dominated your lives told you that you couldn't see them again? Panic, it was more than just basic exile. I was thrown physically from my home. I... I just don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth pursuing the past. It seems that fate has tried so hard to push me into the future and not look back any further. I just don't know. At this point, you're going to feel a hand on your shoulder. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's darkest. He's not dead. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> son of a bitch. You feel a talent on your shoulder. I immediately Freaks roll initiative. Bitch. <laughs> roll initiative. Oh, Special shit. bonus boss, Remy, but he's evil now. Oh, oh no. shit. It's the oh, it's fucking like main bad guy, Denny. No, it's like evil stew in the nightmare from Rugrats. I Damn you, stew. Demi. Anyway. 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 Oh, oh, Remy. By the gods. Maria, I didn't mean to intrude, but I overheard. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I guess it's one of those nights. You remember what you told me when we were riding Volo? Yeah, About the, I... the four nobles, or the noble and the four friends. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Panic, the best way I can describe what Grekels has told me is... It was not his choice, but rather nobility that got in the way of his love. And he was forced from it, and... That's what led him to Alavast. He didn't want to run, he was forced to. Panic just so looks down and sneers at that, it's just... Hmm. I'm the sorry, Pan. The fact Grekels even talks to me is a miracle, considering his history with nobles, but... I think you can have what you had, you just can't have it in the past. You've rebuilt what you've wanted. You've come so far, and yes, it's all right to reminisce, but... I don't think he needs to go back, I think he needs to put his foot down. Grow roots in Alavast. Well... Either way... It's his choice, but let me ask you something, Greckles. Yeah. If the Alvast City Council said that you couldn't see Solly anymore, or couldn't see any of us anymore, what would you do now? You want an honest answer? He just gives this kind of half grin through through his teeth. I would like uh I think I would like that, yes. There is no force on heaven or earth that would keep me from you or her. That's a damn good answer, Greckles. <sighs> you know, it's panic. the same one I'd give as well. <clears throat> now is probably not the right time, but I think it's time I do tell you all everything. There's no telling. <laughs> There's no telling where things are going to be going from here, but I think it's time that you all knew everything when we get back home. Hmm. I'll look over at Remy real quick. Remy, all right. Panic and nod. Let's do it then. All right. Okay. Now go get some sleep. We have a long trek in the morning. 
Yes, we do. I don't even know how we're going to get everything across. We'll worry about that tomorrow. That is tomorrow's Greckle's problem. You guys yeah. find a place to sleep. Luckily, it's a clear day, so most people are sleeping outside. Um, you guys kind of huddle around a fire um, spread across the camp. And we're going to take a break here. Oh, thank you. Um, Connor, I need you to fix your microphone. You're having really, hmm? really, really bad popping issues. Um, every time you chime in to talk, it starts with like a popping, like static noise, and then you can talk, and your your volume keeps dipping. I I don't think really? I'm really hearing it because everyone in chat has pointed it out. So um, I need yeah. you to figure out. Yeah. It sounds like it might be Nvidia or something. Maybe it, it's like, like a pop into peak. It's like Man. pop peak, and then you go quiet, and then you go loud. It's very erratic. It's weird. Well, yeah, we'll have to stop. We'll have to stop our recordings yeah, then. We, we can resync after the break is done, but you just need to fix that because it's it's very okay. distracting. I didn't want to yeah, interrupt I'll, the scene because it was a really nice scene. Um, also, and, yeah. um, task and panic. I updated your guys' character sheets. Aspect of Ith and Aspect of Aos are now in your character <laughs> sheets. I noticed that. I was on bio for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, Yo. so if you want to look at that, go ahead and look at it, and it'll tell you what you can do and basically what the benefits of um, this is. It is a boon, um, so it is technically not an object. The objects you have are basically physical representations of this boon. So just in case you're you're wondering specifically what they are, it is technically a boon. Um, Task, bow, and my guitar. guitar so yeah, yep. your bow and your guitar, yeah. So you can look at that, and it has details for your 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 stuff essentially, and what you're able to do with that. So I'm I'm good um, to not step away from the mic. Is it cool if I say it out loud? Um, yeah, you guys can say what it does uh, for sure if you want to. So go ahead. All right, cool. So let's see. Aspect of um, Aos. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm I'm just I'm going through my my recording, and I, I'm not hearing what what the chat is saying. So yeah, uh, it, obviously it's it, not popping up there. I don't know what's up. I don't know if Bosco can maybe help it, you or, or something. It, it happened at the very tail end of the of the uh, whole scene. It's yeah. It sounds really strange. I I don't know what could be causing it, but the it's... only thing I could think of is maybe leave the Discord call and pop back in and see if that fixes it. See if it's a Discord thing. But if it's yeah, not, maybe then the only thing, the settings. only other thing I could think of is I know you sometimes use the Nvidia thing. If it's not that, it might just you you might need to reset your audio input or maybe reconnect your your microphone. Maybe yep. Something like that. Um, uh, but yeah, go ahead, ta uh, Task Zito, if you want to read out what uh, the aspect of Aos does. Sure thing. Uh, once per day, you can re-roll one roll you attempt. You could do this after seeing the results of the roll. You regain this ability after a long rest. At will, uh, the aspect of Aos can be called <sighs> into the hand of Task when they are mentally summoned. Uh, calls its own arrows from the past and requires no ammunition to be fired. Arrows from this bow are considered magical, but have no additional magical bonuses and are considered silvered. They are One, not. They are not considered oh, silver. They are, yeah. it, it says they are. Oh, oh, oh or are. Not. I'm sorry, I read that yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. So that you, you, if you want silvered arrows, you have to still buy them. But any other munitions, you don't have to buy. They literally just get summoned from some That's point insane. in time. Well, well so if they're magical, magic, good. as long if as they're, they're magic, magic over, because yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they are considered magical. Matter arrows so uh and also last thing once per day you can either cast haste on yourself or an ally or slow on an enemy spell oh. dc of 17. Yeah. Oh. it's really That's fucking so good. good it's really good uh, do I sound better? Is so yeah good. I, I can't hear any issue with you connor so you'll have to ask them yeah i was going through my recording and listening to some sections and i, I really don't see what the problem it was it was do, there, do you hear it now like you hear him getting quieter right I'm not insane. Mm -hmm. Like he just got quieter for me. Just a wee bit, yeah. As as he was just talking, he slowly quieter? got quieter and quieter. Yeah. I mean, did you turn to look at your computer screen? Because that would have done it. Uh yeah. I I turned. Oh, there it turned. is. Oh, that was it. I heard that. Yeah, that was, you I heard, heard, that, you heard that. Yeah, that yeah. was a pop. It's weird. It's like right when you start talking, the moment you're like quiet, and then you start talking on Discord, it's like, and then it talks. It's like you're on a radio or something. It's very strange. Hang on, that's. So yeah, yeah that I, time I didn't hear it. All right, how about now? I'm turning my head back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I saw talking. I can hear you moving. Again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Oh, there, there it was. Yeah. Yeah, each time. Hang on. I, I, maybe I would tamper with that NVIDIA thing. It seems to be what maybe, who knows? I, I don't know this stuff. I don't want to keep suggesting things, but. That's assuming he's, I don't know if he's using the NVIDIA thing or not. Yeah. It could be the microphone too. Um, I am going to get him and get something to eat real yeah, quick. Yeah, go for it. 
I will I also quickly need to use the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, by the way, guys, like eat all of you guys, those are fucking amazing scenes. Like every single one of you. Like holy yeah. shit. I, yeah. I tried listen, I think at some point Tash just needs to fucking nut up and just say, Hey, do you like her? Yes. Like even even for Tash, hey. it's just why do I need to fight anymore? Why do I need to fucking like dance around this? I don't have Look, any fucking hold back. In character, I gave you the gentle push. You do what you want to do. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, no, <laughs> next time though, Tash is yeah. be like, hey, do you like her? Like, yeah. <laughs> Titty caca fart fart. Am I still yeah. popping? No, like, you're still pop that time. Yeah. Nope. Ha -hoo, here I go again. Oh, I heard yep. it that time. Did you? I did. Do one more time, Connor. Big farty poopy butts. Nope. No, not nope. that time. That was clean. Yeah. Love me some clams. Yeah, you're nope, good. That was clean. I think yeah, you might be good. okay, but if it's not picking up in your recording, uh... that's the big thing. Yeah, you're That's good. so weird. That might be a Discord I'll thing, just, though. That's the, mm, so weird. Yeah, I'll just do this. Fuck it. I just completely turned it off of the... Uh, turned off the RTX, and... So, here I go so, now. Yeah, no yeah. pop. Yeah. Great. Yeah, my, my best guess is if you had RTX on, that was probably it, because I've had issues with it, too. It's just sometimes it's finicky. Yeah. Discord no big deal, Nvidia uh, RTX. That being said, uh, yeah, y'all killed it. Like, Borky with Shempai was fucking great. And the orcs, like, that was really good. Like, holy I'm shit. Back. Yay! Welcome Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Freaking uh, Jesus. So what are, we, what are we doing with the microphones again? No, oh, we're fine. Good. No, we're just, just checking with Connors, yeah. Yeah, mine was doing some weird shit, but hopefully it's fixed now. So I'm gonna. Uh, do you guys mind if I call out some stuff where there are like bits galore? Yeah, stuff cool. yeah. Like, I imagine. Uh, I imagine people would want to know the uh, the aspect of if. Oh yeah, you haven't said that. Do that. Yeah, uh, the aspect of if uh, requires panic grim tongue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once per day, you can re-roll uh, one roll you attempt. You can do this after seeing the result of the roll. You regain the use of this ability after a long rest. At will, catharsis can be summoned into the hands of panic when they are mentally summoned. Once per day, you can summon a discord devil. The devil summons in a place you designate within 60 feet that you see. The devil cannot occupy the same space as another creature when it's summoned. The devil cannot com be commanded unless by the use of a successful dominate monster spell. The discord devil views all creatures as enemies. Damn. Also, uh, probate with the 10,000 bits saying that moment when you realize that this is likely Shempai's last session for the foreseeable future and primordial yeah. kitty with 5,000 bits saying been a while since I caught you all live. So have my first bit drop. Well, thank you. Primordial kitty. Oh, that's man. very, that's a very thank generous you. way to do your first bit drop. Uh, we got some other stuff on here too. Uh, unless they do Connor, were you all done? Yeah. Uh, there was one thing I wanted to say. Like yeah, it requires. There was one like where your thing required panic grim tongue. Mine says requires Tarask of Iron Oath. Yes, I'm back. Guys. Yeah, that man is dead. Oh my god. Yeah, we're we're working on. We it, were dude. praising you. I just called those out by the way. If you just saw the big ones. <laughs> those two that God dang get yes. probate. Yeah, I don't He's worry. He's a jerk. I get it. Gosh, Gosh darn primordial it. kitty. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you so uh, much for calling those out. But no this problem. has been. Also, I was just again, talking about uh, how you and Shempai killed it, especially you with the orcs was great. Like, I love that you took mm, charge. That was really good. I've just been trying to think. I've been trying to think. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing usually. So I'm trying <laughs> well, to. So that I'm, I'm treating for Borky. Like, Borky has no fucking idea what the fuck he's doing. He's just like, all right, think of the grip. Big picture. Big picture, Borky. Big picture. No, it was really also Rippington. Thank you for the 10 bits. Thank you. I, re I really awesome. appreciate that compliment. I, I, it's, it was, it's everyone's role play. Ten, like, this was like so, like Connor and Gaijin fucking mm. tore it. Gaijin, I don't mm. know why you constantly insist that you can't hang with improv people because that was amazing. Yeah, like, dude, what the fuck? That was good. Yeah, you have, yeah. like, I, in the chat will back you up. I guarantee you people were like, man, I can't believe how good so this was. I think all of us collectively can say, shut like, up. Like, Connor shut acts up, professionally. Up. Right. You guys did <laughs> great <right>. in that <laughs> scene. <laughs> you could take your insecurities and blow them out your fucking bird yeah, fuck hole. you and your your sensibilities, girl. We <laughs> yeah. say you're good. James all right, now, the... all right, now, here I am as a cat again. Now, listen here, you ghost of Shishiba playing bastard. Oh my Why? God. Why James is it going the... back to that every time? <laughs> your listen your to, improv listen to is really... you mean cart little shit. Uh, your improv James is very good, so fuck you. 
<laughs> hey, Bosco, give us a werewolf Ed Awu, please. I, that is wrong stream, my man. I appreciate you, but wrong stream. Can you give it to me, though? <sighs> Fine, Awu. <laughs> yeah. God, I, I am not waiting to watch your series on Netflix tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to. Yeah, go watch Transform. Hopefully, it's going to be out in like four hours. I'm hoping it comes da, out at da, da, Ed. <laughs> Dude, my, I'm telling you, my roommate and I are ready to watch this. We don't know when it's getting released, but if it's midnight, we are all over oh, it. Oh, dude, is your friend also in it, or is he just a big fan of... No, Xander's not in it, but he's just supportive because he's a good mm. person. Oh, fuck yeah, he is. He's yeah. always been a nice guy. How, um, how's the chicken nugget uh, feud with him and Swint going? By oh, the way? It's, well, it's not a feud. So Xander, let me explain this to you. So my roommate Xander, who you might have seen his cooking shows over at twitch.tv slash Xander VO. You should check him out. He's doing one tomorrow. Anyway, that was a cheap plug. <laughs> he wanted to eat. We were like up late one night and he's like, dude, we should go get a hundred chicken nuggets. I'm going to eat a hundred chicken nuggets because it's my white whale. Nugs? I'm like, Xander, you've had one too many drinks. He's like, no, nah, man, fuck that. I'm going to eat <laughs> these hundred chicken nuggets. Let's go do it. And I'm like, bro, you're not going to get through 50. And so he got to 36, I think was his top. Meanwhile, I chowed down on 40 because I'm a pig and I have a problem. No, 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 no. Was there any water or any other food? Nope. Okay, interesting. Oh uh, no, he did get a diet coke, which was dumb because it. Oh, that was dumb up. rookie. Oh, that'll fuck it up. That's yeah, rookie he messed mistake. it up. I'm like, bro, don't you watch the Nathan hot dog eating contest? Because you're supposed to dip the bun in the water, but it helps you swallow the bun better, not because it takes up any room. You've probably rookie seen that mistake. shit, Tito, right? Have you ever done the Nathan's hot dog eating contest or seen it? Never. I've never. Uh, I've never done it myself, but I've been to Coney Island and watched one take it. place. I'm sure you've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, I've watched one take place live. Yeah. Yeah, so you know that they dip it in there. That's how you do it. People are fucking animals, guys. man. They're insane. <laughs> they are insane. But fucking yeah, animals. So, he's eating is the most so one day he wants to put away 100. Like, I'll be right back. Shit. And then I guess because Mark Swint saw his post, he was like, you know what? I'm going to put away 40 just, you know, easily. And then post oh, just showed the pictures. Like, he's like, he gets fucking flexed on him. <laughs> Which oh sucks because then I'm just like, I, that night I literally told my wife, hey, do you want chicken nuggets? And she's just like, slap me upside the head. <laughs> she's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like, sorry, sweetie. I was on Twitter. You're right. Hobbies, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Good looking out. Also, uh, Tater with the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know what? If we have a little bit of time, I would love to read what's something up? out. Do I'm it. Go for it. So... I constantly get shit about what? not uh, no no I constantly get shit about not stealing and not being roguish. I, there is something that I I, I found oh. in this book that I would love to read. It as a single sentence. Um, this is from the Bunsen Shukai chapter Seishin One: The Correct Mind. Oh, this is about to be nerdy as shit. Go. Oh, let's it. go. <laughs> so, on the topic of correct mind, he quotes: "Here are some ninja poems to guide you." If a shinobi steals in his own interest, which is against common morals, how can the gods or Buddha protect him? A, mono, a mononofu or a samurai should always be religious. How could he be pre, be protected if he is against heaven? Uh, how could hmm. how could you be ashamed of telling a license you as a samurai think that faith, uh, faithfulness in your lord is a principal issue? That's why he doesn't steal. That's why he's not an atypical rogue. That's why he called out for everyone to leave the money alone and to have that go to the less fortunate because Alavast is his protectorate. Alavast is his daimyo, God damn it! There, also, I'm putting it to also, bed. Also, it's fucking D and D. We can be whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, it's not, not wrong, but I, li I like that you have history did, behind um, that. Also, I'm back. Uh, did we solve Connor's issue? We're all good. We yes. did. We did. Yes. 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 We did. Beep it pop, boop yep. boop boop Oh yeah, you sound better. You actually sound yeah. really clear. Hmm, we, we turned off the RTX, so that was. Oh, we oh, Connor, scoozy, Bob the Boopy. Real quick, Bob before we start though, we had. Uh, I mean, mouthful of Cheerios. A o a vowel sound. We had uh, we had Viridian Winter drop ten thousand bits while you guys were talking. He said, what? "I am Bit Boss for five seconds now." God oh, damn it! <laughs> so thank you. Also, Steve Anders, thank you for the fifty bits. Ten thousand bits from Viridian Winter. Oh my God, Viridian, thank you so fucking much. Yeah, it's very kind of you. Damn guys. Yeah, but I think is everybody here? Holy mm -hmm. crap! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm set to go. Give me two seconds. I my I had a toaster experience. I forgot to plug it in because I <laughs> oh no it. oh yes. So I put the stuff in and I, it was it was an English muffin, so it was small. And then I pressed the down button and stepped away. And I was standing there. I'm like, man, this is taking a long time for it to to cook, but I don't smell anything burning. And then I realized, it, and I was like, ah, beans. So. 
Well, yeah, Mike, actually, I, I, I while you have a second, I did have a question for Connor. Thank you, uh, Jack. I appreciate that. So, Connor, you had a new icon made for Tweetar. Mm. Do you yeah, want to explain who Judas is? Because it shocked me when I saw it. Oh, uh, yeah, Judas is the new stream avatar, or stream mascot, rather. Uh, he's, a, he's a Baphomet. Hell yeah. What is a yeah. Can you, what is a Baphomet for those that don't uh, know? It's sort of like a... Well, the original instance of the Baphomet was a uh, symbol worshipped by the Knights Templar, a satanic symbol. Uh, but really, it's just a goat with a candle on his head and wings. And I thought, hey, that looks really cool. I'm going to make that the stream avatar. <laughs> hey. And there we go. We got the pogs in chat. Yeah, there yeah, they are. Yeah. Hey, hey, Connor, can I drop a quick You're saying it's your first on Kona. You? Oh, no. <laughs> uh from 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 what research i did uh because i did a quick i did do a video on the baphomet um it's actually a massive symbol in duality uh you see there are many depictions of him being a sun moon also having dual uh gender characteristics physical characteristics so it, it's really cool and then and then i'm gonna throw all those out and just say hey by the way i also made baphomets playable on dm's guild also, Here we go, yeah, boy. I wanna. I can I call out who did your artwork for your icon and for Absolutely. this? That's by my friend Draco. Was that oh, Draco? Nice. It looked Draco. like Draco's yeah. art. Hell Draco yeah. did did is doing the icons and is doing the artwork <laughs> by by yeah, no good. like no gunpoint hostage taking by my part. Literally, like Connor Messi was like, "I'm gonna get Draco to do all this," and I was like. Oh. <laughs> Even though yeah. she bullies me and takes my lunch money and calls me a nerd and pushes me and down the stairs. I've never seen her once. Right. She's only ever I been nice you. when I've seen her. Wait a minute, you're lying! I see people in the chat calling it my persona, and sure, why not? Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just roll with it. It's Dude, physics. whatever. They're going to say in what they life, want. Just let it roll. In life, if it makes you fucking happy, just, and it just doesn't hurt you, but I just do it. I drop my Sonic OCs. It's 20, are you happy, my dude? You do you. You do you. Yo, listen, hey, man. it's listen, you listen here. It's 2020. I'm drawing Sonic OCs. I'm reliving fucking high school. Who the fuck I'm cares? Say, are we back in 1990? I can be a sorry if I want fuck. to. Let's Moving do it. Right we're gonna right, we're gonna go. keep going. Everybody ready to All go? Right. Food, yeah, everyone yeah. finish their food. Wait, Shempai, yeah. are you here? My food hasn't been delivered. Where am I? I? I'll eat it some point. Oh. Get, <laughs> Get out, out of the box. Sorry, I'm out of the box. No, I'm just like staring at my ceiling because I bought myself a lamp that projects the galaxy. Oh yeah, I saw that! Ooh. That was so cool! And I'm just staring at my ceiling because it's really pretty. <laughs> that sounds amazing! I had to... Oh, I heard some static. Who was that? I don't know. That... I Connor? also heard that. Connor, was that you? Was it me? Know. Connor, speak. Hello. Okay. Yeah, he seems to be fucked. We're good. <laughs> Maybe it was a hiccup somewhere. Weird. Yeah. Um, okay. We're gonna keep going. And you, I hear a plate. I hear. Yeah, cutlery. you asked me if I was done eating, and I said no. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't hear you. And for my bonus action, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to I would take like an to extra scoop eating. of raisins. I would like to have an extra scoop of raisins. Please. Oh my god. Two scoops. Oh man. We need to sink anyway. Yeah, it's true. We do need we'll to uh, finish, 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 finish eating, eating, and then we'll continue. Oh man, that's this is one of our longer breaks. But that's okay. All right, gotta go. Everyone, everyone, eat, 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 eat. Someone, eat, is, someone eat. in the chat is yelling at me, saying, mm. "Man, I really need to see these OCs." Mm. I'm like, just take okay. the fucking pick. All my Twitter, Zito. it's everywhere, dude. Zito, Zito, I'm tempted to make my own. I've never made a Sonic OC. Dude, before. it's fu dude, it's 2020. Like, we have no time to be embarrassed anymore. I'm like, I kind of want to <laughs> try it. I was like, um, I was listening to like someone playing through, um, what was it Sonic Forces or whatever, and like they, oh, God. and I was, I was like, one, I'm like. I kind of want to make my own character, but at the same time, like that's a slippery slope. I know where that no, will go, dude. Dude, no, it's not. All you have to do is just not make it weird, and that's not difficult. Yeah. Okay. I want to make I'm Sonic's brother, who's in, who's who can't be killed, and everyone loves them. Dude, I don't care. Go ahead. Yeah. By the way, if you ever want to play a fun game with your your group of friends, your group of internet friends, my favorite game is find your Sonic character, which is where you take your real name and you put the Hedgehog at the end of it, and then. Google image search. Uh, Monty, I can't do I'm that already because on it. my I'm name on is it. Chris. 
No, it's true. I can't um, do that. <laughs> oh no, you're just gonna get oh, fucking Sonic no. X references. No, I'm gonna no. get fucking Chris gonna Chan. Chris Chan. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody, it's me, my Chris Chan. Also, also, Google at your own risk. By the way, yeah, I'm Googling uh, at your own risk. Hey, I, 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 I think the what? GameStop arc. I think the GameStop arc was the best. Hey, arc I'm just gonna say right now. That was the best arc ever. Hey, Edward the Hedgehog is badass. He's got sunglasses and he's got a leather jacket, and it's like Panic as a Hedgehog. I'm down with this. Connor, are you going uh, to free me from the Sonic hell? Yes. All right, cool. hey, let's keep going. Hang on, tongue. I'm going to take it back. Shut up. Candy. Back at it again at Krispy <laughs> Kreme. Let's do this. All right. You know, I really like a pizza roll. Shut up. So, um, as you guys get up. Sink. Oh, right at the sink. <laughs> sink. Yeah. Right. Let's do, do that. Do we need first. to record a separate uh, audio track? No, you're no, good. Just no, we don't. We just have to resync. Just resync. Okay, chat. Everyone, okay. we all get to sync together. Yeah. All righty. Go. One, two, three, sink. Sink. One, two, three, sink. Sink. One, two, three, in sink. Sink. There we go. All right. Why won't anybody let the sink in? Oh my god. <laughs> What are you thinking about, Shentai? What are you thinking about? <laughs> oh, no, that reminds me of the German oh. ad. Oh, no. Yeah, that's literally the ad I'm referencing. That's the ad, yeah. He's <laughs> uh, we're sinking, we're sinking. But what Un are you Shentai. thinking about? <laughs> what are you thinking about? Yes. All right. <sighs> anyway. So as you guys rise up in the morning, um, all of you are awoken by a very young child, um, about, like, nine years old, runs up to each of you. And it wakes you up. It's a young, uh, like, tabaxi child, like, cub-looking kid. Um, yeah, he's like a kitten. Um, and he kind of collects you all and says that, um, I hear a plate somewhere. Someone put the plate down. Um, he kind of gathers each of you to go talk to Omrog and basically talk about what they're doing. You see now people are loading up carts. Um, there are, like, maybe amongst everybody a couple of beasts of burden um, but beyond that, the carts are being kind of rickshawed with either dwarves or able-bodied individuals, really muscular individuals who can kind of pull the carts. Um, so you guys are led forward and, and you currently see Omrek just currently like instructing people on where to go and the lineup and everything as you guys approach with this, this child kind of leading you. Did we like get our that. full rest? You did. So you guys okay. get your hit points back. Spell slots are all back. Um, so you guys go ahead and adjust that as you see fit. <laughs> Okay. But do we get to. extra stuff, or is that for the city? That's that city. is for the city. city. You can't touch any of that. So city. anyway, quick question, Monty. The I know Volo's back. Are the other mounts the four that they yeah, were on? Yeah, we guys are lizard mounts. Oh yeah, where were they? I assume yeah. they got taken. Mike's back on the captured. mountain. Oh yeah, that's right. We would have brought them back because they were with wherever Volo was, so they're probably just wherever he was. Yeah, they'd probably be outside the city. I'll say that for okay. um, they probably followed Volo because they're like, where do we go? Um, so you guys find Green, Hanzaki, um, I'm trying to remember the names. Judas, Green, and Judas. Judas and Avahi. Avahi. There we go. Oh my God. I'm bad with names. Can you tell? Um, no. they appear to be fine. They are overjoyed to see you knocking you guys all down to your feet. Um, as you guys kind of meet Omreg at the edge of town, um, he turns to the rest of you and goes, I know you've got us this far. I wouldn't mind asking for a favor if you wouldn't mind. Please what is it? Me. Someone is eating. Please put your dish down. I don't know who's doing it. I think it's Kurt. Are you eating? It, it, I thought I was being quiet. I was yeah, gone. no, put I it Put gone. it away. You yep, had a it's break. Gone. Yeah, it's gone. It away. Um, you guys, um, right kind of goes up and says, uh, you guys managed to help us out big time. <laughs> um, I hate to ask this of you, but we really need someone to spearhead this caravan trip. If you guys be willing to take the charge and leading us back to Alavas, I'd be much appreciated. Quick okay. question for you. Quick question for you. Do you need someone in charge who's very loud and can speak over everybody? Uh, yeah, might if we need to call out things. I would like to volunteer. Very well, all right. Um, we're, if we're being honest, technically I'm the loudest out of all of us. All right, okay. so here's... Here's team the real, effort then. Team effort. Here's the real okay, question then. How how long is this caravan? Have you calculated how many carts it's going to be? In terms of carts, we got about twenty. Uh, they're carrying our sick and injured, uh, and then loot. Um, in terms if, of people just walking, carrying their own stuff, we got about two hundred and fifteen people. If you'll allow me, I wouldn't mind taking up the rear just in case. If you want, yeah, it's quite a long line. You're going to be quite far from your companions, so just be aware of that if you want to do it. No, we need protection all the way around. We do have some people in the rear, so if you want to stay with your group in the front, that would be preferred. 
All right. As long as you uh, believe that they're capable. The front. Do you require any additional mounts to help move some of the carts? We have a couple of griffins that could help. If they're willing to walk on the ground and carry some weight, then yeah. Remy's going to look at Volo to see what his reaction is. Oh. It kind of looks like, mm, but reluctant, but understanding. Marge Simpson grumble eye roll. Mm. Yeah, Volo. <laughs> I'll card with you, sweetie. Volo, if it makes you feel better, I have to walk too. Uh, so do you allow them to use the mounts? Because they want to use your lizard hounds too, if you're willing. You can't really ride them because you're going to outspeed this caravan. Oh, yeah. Like party yeah. huge, <laughs> big time. You think Task is leaving Winter. Use a Vahi. I was going to say, whatever cart Winter's in is the one I'll, <laughs> I'll put her griffin in. All right, yeah. Uh, her griffin will pull her cart. She's still yep. kind of delirious um, and still kind of feverish, but she is stable. Um, you managed to hitch her griffin to that, but it's like a, it's like a wheelbarrow, um, but it works. Um, and you guys on foot take the lead guiding this. And as you guys take the lead and make your way, you notice off to the side in a separate, uh, migration party are the orcs and all of the kobolds, um, specifically the, uh, gadget, uh, gizmo and Abby currently standing, um, heading, waiting to head north where you guys are heading south. I'll be standing there with their uh, new charge, their new spear and arm uh, with the mountain behind them, framing them, framing their destination as you guys stand and meet each other. Ready to <sighs> break off paths and make your way to different locations. All right, everyone ready? Borky yells. Everyone looks confused. I said, are you ready to run? No, um. We're meeting with Avi for the last time. We're meeting, yeah. yeah, we're, yeah. We're, <laughs> this is goodbye time first. Yeah, yeah. task oh. out of the cart. Oh, dang it. Who are you guys Remy's going to over. leave without saying goodbye? Not at all. He was. I, I said goodbye happy. last night. Um, oh. Abby, really quick. Yes. We do. We do have a, a messenger system where we could send letters to you, but we don't know if that would be possible. We Gadget kind of hobbles up with a broken arm and goes, "I have my ways. I'm interested in your city and the people there." Well, you're always welcome to come by. Yeah, they all, they all like both Gadget and Gizmo, like make like the I don't want to go outside face, like Ugh, like disgust. Task, like, task, like <laughs> fucking like w walks up to Gadget, and, like kind of like jabs her in the arm playfully, just like Ow. you. you <sighs> the good arm. Uh, the the metal arm's gone, and the other arm's slinged, so there's no good stump. arm. Just hit the stump. Punch her in the stump. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll just like I'll ba I'll pat her on the side then. Fine. I'll pat in her the on the stump. side, and just smile at her. Are you kidding me? You all piloted a giant construct. You left your mountain and caused havoc against a creature that's supposed to be the reincarnation of an evil dragon. And you're telling me you can't withstand walking to a city every once in a while. I just think we need a break. That's fair. I, I agree. I'd like a break. We should probably make a statue to Old Rusty. Yeah, I can see the inscription now. Old Rusty, he died as he lived, angry. You know, it also, it also probably wouldn't hurt for you all to see the constructs of Olivast. We might send some people out, but for now, this place ain't the only place that's seen some damage. We have a lot of fixing up since your little joyride. She kind of turns and gives a smile to you, Task. I hold my hand out to shake hers. Um, she, turns, she flips around and shakes your, shakes your hand with her tail because she's got nothing else. Abby <laughs> immediately looks at him. Can I visit sometime? Of uh, course. Yeah, they both kind of smile in turn. I suppose we could. You're Do you welcome anytime. Be mad? It's up to Oriara to decide, I guess. Hmm. Well, as long as it's not a goodbye forever, then I think I will be fine. I have a feeling that our paths are definitely going to cross at least one more time. I feel so too. Yeah. By the way, we're slog. Like goodbye. It's more like a see you later. See you later. I like that. Auntie? Yeah? Where's Log? You don't know. You have okay. No idea. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I, I, 
I honestly have just given up asking. <laughs> Log will appear when Log wants to appear. <laughs> when Log, Log is needed. Mysterious Log, parties. Log will appear in, in Avengers Age of Ultra, whatever. I, oh my god. I, I, have a, I have a massive feeling that even if we were to forget and he shows up, I don't think he'll be mad that we forgot. No, Lo Lo Log's going to McDonald's to get a hundred chicken McNuggets. There are no strings to hold me down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, Abby walks up to task. I have something to give you. After all you've done for us, you want to give me something? Yes, it's a little piece of memory. So you guys don't forget me. We wouldn't, but if you feel so inclined, I hold my hand out. He, like, <laughs> starts grabbing into his, like, body and, like, pulls out this little ball and puts it in his hand, and it just turns into a small little bug, a mechanical bug that's just there. It's kind of something I worked on. I have never showed you guys because I never thought it meant anything, but as a memory, it might last. This will remain in our tavern, so all can see. Yay! Meanwhile, Greckles is staring into the middle distance of all the flames and death. How can I forget? <laughs> Path has forgotten, and now he wants to live anew. He's just like, man, so many opportunities. Fuck. I assume you guys will be okay from now on. We'll manage. Of course. That's why you are the Unexpectables, correct? Yes, I believe That's so. That's right. Yeah. Right. As you as you guys stand there, you hear Gadget uh, in the distance. Abby, let's go. Well, he actually kind of like puts his hands on his side and bows down. Thank you for everything. Thank you for opening my eyes. I will see you guys again in the future, and then you will see how strong I have become. I wouldn't miss it for the world, Abby. Take care of yourself, Object Eight. You too. May Oriar's light always guide you and may her gears turn you in our direction soon. Definitely. Be nice to the orcs, please. <laughs> I'll try. Praise Oriara. Praise Oriara. Praise Oriara. All right. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to wait for me to say that next time. <laughs> Abby then turns around, looks one more time. And then does like a really tiny wave and starts running after Gizmo and Gadget. Shit, Pai, it's been an absolute delight having yeah! you. Yeah! 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 Thank you so much for being with us. It was a blessing. Of course, I had so yeah. much fun. Thank you for having me. We'll see you in the final boss battle. <laughs> no, oh real boss. I was gonna say, see you in the end. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. no Mayhaps, but yeah, thank you guys so much for having me. It's I been, had it, so much yeah. fun. Oh, you've you've been a treat. You've been a delight. <laughs> uh, as you as you uh, run off and join Gadget and Gizmo, you watch as uh, Rasan the Terrible, above a shadow above, follows in Obby's way, heading towards the mountain. As you guys make your way <laughs> southward. All right, Shampai, thank you so much. And no problem. You just need to send off your audio, and then yeah. Awesome. Okay. So you get to I'm... sleep early tonight. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be sleeping. I'm still going to be listening because I'll be working on commission, but yay. 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 Oh, wow. Very great. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Thank you again for having me. Thank you yay. for joining us. Thank you so Thank much you for so taking much the time to join us. us. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Donkey Shen. Donkey Shen. <laughs> Donkey Shen. <laughs> See ya. I think it is a... Just go! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like it! Hey. <laughs> Alrighty. So, you guys take the lead on the caravan. Uh, you guys make your way dawn break. Oh, um, oh I, 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 can, 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 I, got, I, I had something for that, actually. Okay. Alrighty, everyone, mount it up! And now, Porky's got Ron Fault and two hags. This away! Or he just points down the road. Okay. Getting back in the car where winter is. All right. 
Uh, you guys uh, spearhead the lead, um, and you guys are slow moving. This is probably the slowest you've ever traveled before in your entire life. Um, there are many carts that are not the bestly made. Uh, that takes a while for you guys to travel. Um, as you guys make your way, um, I'm just going to try and find something here. Um, I made a mistake and I shouldn't have done it. Oh, dang. We told you about those. You got to stop that. I know. Be flawless from the get go, or, or else. No, that's not it. <laughs> um, as you guys head southward, um, the immediate problem is your speed. It is slow. Um, and you also don't have a whole lot of food, um, is the other problem as you guys are traveling Ooh. yet. So, I... hmm, Monty, mm -hmm. to rectify this, uh, can I, since I'm not on Avahi right now, uh, can I make a suggestion while we're traveling? I'm just off in the woods hunting on the side. Okay. If you want to make an impact, you will have to take others with you and try to direct them to help you to make any sort of like um sure let's do it like adjustment okay so go ahead and roll a survival check here it is i found it and nat 20 on the other side 18 18 okay yeah you and five other individuals um one of which is this strange yak person who just seems to be kind of trudging along with everybody a little lost um, you guys make, into, make your way into the woods, and you are able to point out so many things that you guys can can take back. You get two very large bucks, um, about six or seven rabbits, um, and a wild boar. Not very big, but a wild boar nonetheless. You're able to tote that back to uh, back on like with you, um, and the hunters are just going to carry them on their shoulders. These are pretty tough dudes. You um, want to walk next to the yak person? Okay. And uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at him, but I am gonna say out loud, uh, "You seem well versed in hunting, friend. What's that story?" One second here, I need to grab something real fast. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> what, plot did, what plot seed did you just oh. pour water on? You instigated the Zito. How dare you? I mean, it's not like she was indicating that this was an important uh, NPC or anything. But no, what have you done? Not. I'm pl I'm pl I'm playing the Magnificent Seven theme, so it's like a real cowboy adventure on with wagons. Um, they Earn begin her. they begin to speak to you, but you have not a single clue what they're saying. Oh God, what have I done? Um, they have a they're completely like like they're they're they had this kind of long. Like, imagine a minotaur, but less muscular. Um, the face is more kind of, like, snout-like. The horns are, like, wide into the sides and kind of point upwards. They have bells hanging from their horns, and they're wearing um, almost kind of like... Um, like, almost like a linked-together, like, plate mail armor. Um, and, like, a big kind of cowl cape made out of what looks like some sort of wool that you can't really identify. Um, uh, they look very out of place here. Um, and as they speak to you, you don't understand at all what they're saying. It's a very strange tongue. Does it appear um, like he's understanding me, though? No, it seems like he's confused. Like, he even cocks his head. Um, by the way, from, from, like, snout to all the way to the bottom of his cloven feet, uh, he's got, like, this really thick, black, shaggy, woolly mammoth kind of, like, fur on him. He looks... Very much not a person who should be in the sun for too long. Uh, he looks very mm. warm. Uh, can I roll an insight check to, like, grasp at straws to figure out anything about this dude? Sure, go ahead. Oh. Give me that roll. On, 14. Okay. Ooh. As you look at him, even with, like, the, the different sort of face you've never really seen before, you get the sense that he is frustrated that he cannot communicate with anybody. Um, you get the sense that he's just kind of along for the ride because it's his best available option at this point based on his, like, behavior. But you get the sense that it's not out of, like, want, it's out of necessity, and very clearly he is an outsider, and very clearly he, he there's a barrier, and he's, he's struggling with it. All but... right, well, you know what? To make him at least comfortable, I'm just gonna, like, give, like, positive reinforcement, like, like, gestures and shit just to tell him, like, hey, it's cool, listen, just stick with us and you'll be fine. You're, you're okay. doing your part. He seems to kind of like, when you give him, like you give him a thumbs up and he's just kind of like looks at his hand and then does a thumbs up and nods like, okay, I kind of get it. 
all right, cool. Like, yeah, I'm gonna like give them positive reinforcement. Like, yeah, see, L listen, there can't, there's a gap, yes, but just stick with us and we'll see it through. Okay. I wonder if you've ever heard the language he's speaking before. That's that's the really. weird thing. Like, I'll, I'll I'll at least bring everyone back to the caravan, but at least I'll like tell this guy like, hey, listen, you're among friends. Don't worry. Yeah, he seems to kind of understand, but he doesn't fully understand. Of he gets course. a sense that you like him, and that seems to be enough for him to be like, okay, cool. But he seems still irked. Um, oh god, I made a friend already. What you make you your way back, and you lead the caravan. Um, you guys travel for two days. Mm -hmm. um, and the traveling is slow going, but eventually you make your way past that mineral lake. Um, right. Through the fields, and you kind of camp near the mineral lake. Mm. for the night uh, and then you wake up the next day and continue your travel southward it becomes a lot harder as the earth becomes a lot more craggy and difficult to maneuver um wagons are losing wheels um that sort of thing and you have to stop for water and food more frequently um mm. because of how many people you're traveling with um Can I you guys roll a vehicle check to assist sure absolutely um, go ahead and roll a vehicle check and i want everybody to come up with what they can do to assist in the travel to speed up the travel time Okey so everyone, think of something that your character could do to help oh, with the travel. Ah. Okay, nice task. As Ooh. you kind of take charge of the the um, you take charge of like the 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 carts. Uh, specifically, having certain people clear out places of difficulty, whether it's like big giant like divots in the ground or rocks that are in the way. You kind of instruct a sort of a a squad to go and like remove these um, obstacles from the road, which does speed up your travel time. Fuck yeah. Well, do we just say it when we know? Yep. Who wants to go next? Uh, obviously, uh, Panic is going to whip out Catharsis, and he is going to play out a jaunty travel tune to keep everybody's spirits up so they don't get exhausted okay. on the long trick ahead. Uh, you do so. You pluck out a tune. I, are you using your enthralling performance, or are you just going to roll a performance check? I don't, I don't think I need to use enthralling performance. Okay, for just, roll a, just, just roll a straight performance check for me, then. Go. 24. 24. Nice. Yeah, it's a very good tune. Um, there's like a lot of kids. There's like a group of probably about 12 children of this group of 215 who kind of like like gather around you as you're playing um, and kind of like sing into some of the songs that they would know um, and then don't really understand the ones that they don't know. Um, but all in all, it does lift everybody's mood quite a bit. And people are actually like really starting to understand now that they're they're free of their basically their chains and they're they're finally able to go home. So there's a lot of joy. Yeah. Who would like to go next? I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, food and scouting's an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, no. I know what I would do, Monty, because I am so because I'm so nimble. Um, mm -hmm. I have climbing capability, uh, and I'm quick. I will spend all uh, excess time that I have to scout for faster routes, places I can go, right. places we can go off the beaten path to kind of go around obstacles, look for more sturdier areas to, to travel across, etc. Okay, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Twenty-four. Nice, twenty-four. You are able to, with Borky in tandem, uh, direct people to either like the left or right route, managing to find the smoothest, easiest areas to make your way through. Um, Avoid the mud. There's a mud puddle. Avoid around it. Around it. Borky's yelling. Why is there David? No, there's a frog. No, I'm just I'm trying to go up trees and getting a really really mm -hmm. good survey of the uh, horizon and whatnot. Yeah, you kind of like climb up craggy rocks and kind of look, and you're able to kind of direct, uh, kind of make your way back and direct which way to, would be the most efficient, mm. uh, while also keeping you on track to make your way home and not get lost. Right. Uh, Bosco or uh, Borky, uh, Bosco, Bosco, Remy or Borky, what would you guys like to do? I'm waiting for Borky because I have a couple options with Remy. So I I don't really know what to do. I mean, I've already been given the task, which is leading the leading yeah. everybody going leading from the front can, here. So Borky's just going to keep Ron Paul uh, up high. And what? I was just saying, can I make a suggestion for Borky? No, but yes, okay. go on. <laughs> uh, he's a big, strong guy, and he knows what people look like when they're tired. You could be rotating people in and out and helping pull the caravans when people are exhausted to give them a break. Okay, I'm going to flavor that. Uh, Borky, is there anyone who seems to be struggling with one of their carts? 
Uh, there's an older, like, two dwarves. One's kind of older, and you see the one older dwarf just, like, red-faced and panting. Hey, hey, hold on, um, hold on, hold on. Forky gets hey. off. Great. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Catch it. Off the guy. Stop! Stop! All right. Everyone okay. stop. All right, all right, all right. I need you both to step out. Just step out. Get into the car. The female dwarf who's there goes, I, we don't need to go sit in the car. We're able-bodied. We can walk. No, you, 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 you know what? I think you've I think you've gone hard enough. And if there's one thing I know, is dwarves are very proud. But what I'd like you to do is get in a cot and relax so you can be proud later on when you crush it later. Right now, you're tired. Yeah, I'm fresh as a daisy because I've been riding green. So. Roll a persuasion check. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This this female dwarf is really irked. Oh! Oh! oh. Now, Nadine, oh. You were, I, I think you cut out, Nadine. You said with advantage, right? No, I didn't. So that's a three. <laughs> uh, you watch as the female dwarf turns to the, the older male dwarf, and the male dwarf kind of wipes his brow with anger. She goes, I think I could go for a spot of rest. And the female dwarf goes, aye, you can rest. But I got the pride of a busy bolt. I ain't resting, boy. Oh my god, okay, Borky gets a ducks under. All right, I'll swap out with you. Borky cracks his knuckles, wraps his things, and starts, all right, wait, Hinge, that way. Dead, yeah, dead, dead. roll an athletics check. This dwarf is gonna is still beside you, pushing the cart. She just looks at you, like, very firmly, having this kind of competitive edge. 12, fuck me. <laughs> you two match with her bonus. Okay. Um, you guys both put your hands on the cart and like she just looks at you as look at her and you guys both keep going really fast at this point almost suppressing the people who are leading the front of the caravan and just like this sort of rivalry um, and people are just kind of watching in bemusement uh, she, this woman's very competitive um, she's, <laughs> she's older she's like a middle aged dwarf woman um, mm -hmm. got like this really big thick braid um, behind her, and her hair kind of comes to her sides, almost having like this sort of mutton chop kind of looks to it, also braided down the sides. All right, uh, and then Remy, what are you doing? Uh, Remy is gonna help prepare the food that was caught to make sure that it's portioned out correctly because okay. he's built rations before. And he's also gonna make sure that if they don't have enough water, that gets collected and then make sure everybody gets some. Roll a survival check then for me. Oh boy. Uh, come on, buddy. Uh, it's all right, I'm good at this. 25. You really are, shit. You, uh, you work at night with uh, many other people, and you guys manage to prepare the meat to be put on just giant, like, rotisserie skewers. It is flavorless. There's nothing really to add to it, but it is nutrition, yep. and people can eat it. Um, the rabbits are prepared into stews with vegetables you guys manage to find, and water is relatively plentiful. Um, but you make sure that everyone has, like, water to drink on the travels. Awesome. Um, yeah. As you guys proceed to make your way forward after two days of travel, um, I'm gonna say task. I'm gonna say everybody. Everybody roll perception checks, vision based. So if you have bonuses, go ahead and roll it. Can I add my? Uh, can I add my spyglass to it? Absolutely, yes. So then twenty five. Um, this guy. At this point, you guys are leagues ahead of the caravan, just surveying out a path. Nineteen. Uh, twenty two and observing if it matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does help quite a bit. Um, as you guys are kind of moving, making ahead and kind of visually checking, oh, panic. Panic, you're kind oh, of like, man. you're looking behind towards the caravan and just I am, making I am busy playing my songs. <laughs> um, everybody but Remy, unfortunately. Um, yeah. As you guys kind of breach over a pretty steep hill that you guys are just kind of surveying to make sure you guys can move forward okay. As you breach over the hill, you see 20 humanoid individuals. Oh. oh. Armed to the teeth. And the moment you guys reach the hill, one points out to you, and Greckles, you see this, one points out to you, and you all just hear a roar, this roaring noise as they charge towards you. All right. As, it, as they get closer into view, you see 20 dwarves. What? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, no, I knew it. Do, uh, do they look like... Well fed, well armored. Are they? Do oh, they yeah. look bandit ish? Oh yeah. Um. All right. How far out are they? Uh. At this point, they're about. I'm gonna say about 100 feet out from where you currently are, and they're like roaring and like they're brandishing war hammers and charging towards you. So, so they they're 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 armed and armored. Yep. Like like, I'll thaumaturgy on my voice. Fellas, we can talk about this. 
Hang on, I think I have a feeling that we we are at a misunderstanding here. Hey, Monty. As as you guys call that out, the dwarves immediately surround you all, brandishing weapons. Uh, they're all very like thick battle hardened dwarves there's one dwarf that's wearing like spiked armor that's got like giant spikes coming out of it and he kind of has like a you know rico from uh, madagascar that one penguin that's got like the scar down his face and like a wild yes. crazy eyes the dwarf looks like that he's got like oh, no. a big beard this big scraggly like bloodied up beard and he's got like oh, one god. wild eye that's kind of looking in a different direction and he's oh, brandishing god. like a big great sword and uh, they all surround you and the, the one dwarf kind of who seems to be heralding this kind of points forward and points a weapon towards you, Tass. Hey, hey, Monty. Tass holds his yep. face. Oh, fuck, of course. They charge you pretty quickly. These guys were ready. Uh, I, was, what would you I was just going to say, because I was trying to get this word in edgewise before Panic jumped in, if, if they got within 30 feet, I was going to fog cloud the shit out of them. You don't really have much time to react, I'm going to say. These, okay. guys, right. these guys move perfectly and like immediately make their Ta way around you, getting Task, a drop on you. Tass looks at the guy who's pointing the sword at him. If this is about the bounty, we have the hostages and we're going back. Ain't no bounty that a son. If I trade you in, I get my wife. And you hear his voice get cut off as you hear a female voice go, Fergus! And he immediately <laughs> stiffens and turns over. And they, the dwarves kind of leave you and all go up the hill and look down at the caravan. And you watch as that, that female uh, uh, dwarf who was pushing the cart with Borky. Uh, she leaves you, Borky. Uh, go ahead and oh. roll an athletics check because she's leaving the cart. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, uh, Borky would also like to roll to do the thing the cat did for the Puss in Boots movie. Oh. Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> athletics, you say? Yeah. Oh. That's a natural oh. one. <laughs> as, 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 you're like, no as you're pushing this cart up, the moment she lets go of you, you're like, Aah! as the whole cart ah! rolls down the hill and people kind of step out of the way as it like crashes. Yeah. You watch and as this dwarf with the, the ferocity and confidence of just like a power stance. What's that one gif of that one wrestler walking out that's just like boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh that's that man. That's sure. man. He's not a wrestler. Um, she like walks up the hill and you watch as this dwarf immediately drops his weapon and like like clamors, like staggers to take off his helmet and pulls his helmet off. And he's like, he's like, Merida and kind of walks up and she goes, what do you think you're doing? And he's like, I, you wait, uh, the dragons took you. They said if we bring the cobalt, they let you go. And she goes, oh, really? That's what you're doing. Couldn't cook and clean for yourself, is it? I, you got lazy, is it? No, no, you're, you're, you're the fire to my forge, my dear. <clears throat> and she kind of just like scoffs at him. And the other dwarves kind of walk over the hill and immediately run down and you see them unite with their wives Aww, who are man. equally as joyed, but also frustrated with them. One of them's just yeah. like, you haven't bathed in weeks and kind of like smacks them upside the head a little bit as dwar dwarven wives are pretty hardened. It's, 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 it's stares at this one dwarf. I hope he looks back at me because I want to just say one thing to him. As I have a giant grin across my face and I take a short bow, you're welcome, sir. I, you have my honor. He kind of walks up in front of you. You guys are about the same height. He's slightly taller than you. As yeah. a battle brand, you earned my honor. I am sorry, lad. You must know when someone you love is taken, do you? Well, you can't help but do something about it. I pat him on the shoulder and I smile and I look back to the caravan. Well, your honor can be placed somewhere else, sir. Help us deliver these people to a safe place. I, uh, boys! And he calls up and you watch as they all kind of turn. He's like, help carry the load. Make a use of ourselves. Prove our honor. And you watch as all the doors uh, go, looks like, look, looks like we're on the easy street now, guys. Uh, Tash, Tash just kind of like, as they all walk away, Tash just like holds his face. Oh, it's going to be a shit show walking through that city. Oh, I hit a rock. Are you kidding? I hit a rock. Borky, just, just, you're going to be fine. You know how the Hang council on. is, Panic. The, the moment I step foot in there, they're gonna fucking throw me away in jail for a month. I know oh, they're not. Please. There's a big argument right now in the council about this and that. All politics. Poof. Gromoth helped them. It'd probably take them six months just to throw you in jail. Task, under what charge do you believe they could possibly throw you in jail for? They'll find a way. No, they won't. You're a hero and you'll be treated as such. I'll see to it my Damn straight. Class. Absolutely. I agree with that sentiment. You won't be playing paying for a stern in any taverns run by any dwarves, I'll tell you that right now. 
But I will say this. There are many independents that put a bounty on your head for an alive capture. What well, people's loved ones were taken, but look at that. And he kind of waves towards the big caravan. They're all back, thanks to you. You know, this just stands still and like looks back at the caravan and just like kind of rolls his eyes back, just like, fuck, man. <laughs> like, he doesn't know how to take this. Honestly, Task Force is considered the, the largest. The fact that we're in a large group means that everyone's going to find out really quick what really happened. Also, did you forget the amount of wealth you are bringing to them? One Pet day, shrug. one day the council will trust us, but, uh... People at all, he kind of walks, you guys continue to walk as this dwarf kind of stands next to you. His wife is just kind of nonplussed about the whole thing. She's, there's, you get the sense that she's being just gruff as kind of like a, an armor to she's actually pouting. being happy. Yeah, she's like, she's like, oh, I'm upset my husband's back, but you can see her like, as, as if you don't look <laughs> at her, she's just like, my husband's back, yay. Wait, so, like, so, so she's doing, she's Scotsman wifing really hard. Yes, yeah, she really is. Really hard, right yeah. <laughs> Super really hard. Um, as this one dwarf kind of walks with you. What a fool. Um, he kind of steps up, he goes, It was true that the, the council decided to mention what the sort of, um, that dragon cult, <clears throat> and he spits on the ground. Their demands were being that you were to be returned to them in exchange for all the people they had taken. We didn't believe it. Some people thought you all turned tailed and run, but many people thought you went off to try and do something about it. Now I'm going to convince by truth of Gromus beard, and he points to the heavens, that I thought you turned tail and run. I'm sorry, son, didn't know you. But now I can see I was wrong, and for that, my humblest apologies. I apologize for my men pointing their weapons towards you, but if you see fit, we'll point our weapons away for you. Task okay, to, sure. <laughs> meaning task to like, say, we'll fight for you to get these people all home. Taslin like kind of like bites his knuckle, just like, mm. <laughs> like, he doesn't know how to take any of this. He's just like, we'll accept your sword, sir. Our honor's back, boys! Arr! And they all kind of raise up and, and cheer again. Of course, spreading the good word about what these folks did at the local tavern wouldn't hurt either. Oh, you bet your non-existent beard will do that! You know, speaking of, how far out do you think we are from Alabast? Ah, you gotta go past the um, garrison, I, And then once you're past there, it's a few days' journey. Once you hit the road, it'll be faster. Mm. Well, let's get these people on the road, then. I, no, I, hear the sweet, I hear the sweet dragon is quite the whistle weather. Yeah, we got, I got three pals of mine who drink <laughs> quite frequently. Oh, uh -huh. God. All dwarves know each other. <laughs> it's true. Cut from the same cloth, word travels fast. You keep your ears low, you hear all kinds of things. We'll never know their names this entire game. We'll never know their names. They'll just be there. They'll never it's go jury. And Burry um, and Bramish. <laughs> uh, abo above game, gentlemen, um, it might be pertinent to resupply once we get to the garrison, as well as send forwarded messages to Alavest that we're on our way with everyone. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to say that. that for a while. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Taka. No, no, it's, dude, you, I just wanted it said. I didn't care that you said it. I just but, wanted uh, someone to, like... They're currently, okay, like, feel... uh, that one yak person is currently helping you off the ground and, like, dusting you off as your cart has been turned over and upside down. I want to but... talk to the lion lad again. <laughs> Sorry. So we're, we're inviting yak friend over so we can also give him, give him a cold one, but then also talk to all the people who actually know language. All right, so you guys <sighs> have the doors. Are you guys wanting to send a message, or are you guys, what do you guys want to do? Well, I'm oh. going to use my sending stone. Okay. Oh, yeah, please. Yes, do it. I'm going to contact Helena. Okay. Uh, one second, I gotta check something real fast. Oh, I just exited the game by accident. Oopsie. Uh oh. Jump back in there. Sorry, my bad. Well, at least Luigi's still here. Been here for 24 years. At least we years, still have Luigi. <laughs> Luigi! Luigi! We finally found him in Mario 64. Hot damn. All right. Uh, as you try to cast Sending, it does not work. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh, detect magic? The Sending spell, the, the Sending Stone is working. Um, as you try to use it, it doesn't seem to work when you try to use it to contact Helena. Does it use the, uh, does it use the, um... The charge? The charge on it? It appears to, yes. But it fails. Um, how far out are we from Alabast? 
Uh, you're about probably a good, probably two or three days travel based on the speed you're going. The garrison you'll probably hit by nightfall. We'll use the garrison to ask them to send a message then. Yeah. Send a, send a, a pseudo dragon, an eagle, or just a footed scout something. Wait a minute. Uh, Monty, is mm -hmm. there a small bird somewhere? Oh, yeah, easy enough to find. Animal, animal, uh, messenger. Okay. Uh, who are you sending it to, and what will your message be? Uh, Edward and Robso. Okay. Uh, the message will be, Darkest is dead, the cult is dispersed, we saved everyone on our way back to Alavast. Okay. The bird <laughs> takes off into the air. What was that panic? Sorry. I'm going to scry on Helena. Okay. Uh, can you click scrying for me? Uh. You can see or hear a particular creature I choose that is on the same plane of existence as me. The target must make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified by how well I know the target and the sort of physical connection I have to them. If a target knows I'm casting the spell, it can fail to save willingly or throw voluntarily if it wants to be observed. Okay. As you cast the spell, focusing as hard as you can, it does not work. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> oh. You can't get a break, gentlemen. Does he Can burn cast... the spell? Like, does it go it, off? The spell is burnt, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. God. That's really bad. Oh, fuck. Well, she kind of has I mean... been acting as our fucking messenger in between all of this. Panic tenses up. Just grips grips the reins on his lizard hound a bit harder. Panic, what's wrong? I think the council found out that I was messaging Helena. I sent a bird out to Edward. He'll have a message short uh well before we get there. Panic, why do you believe that? I can't scry on her, and I can't send messages to her. They probably have her locked up with some anti-magic or something. Well, no time like the present then. Let's make for Alavast faster. <laughs> Borky, see Borky pulling up. Ah, ah, what I miss? We might be, in, we might be in more trouble, Borky. <laughs> Ah, son of a bitch! Good on this breath. You watch as Merida kind of goes over and helps you, Borky. Ah, thank you, ma'am. She kind of helps you push. As you guys are striding forward, you watch as the yak person kind of points out and goes, Avogado! Like, kind of speaks out in this very strange tongue, which none of you guys recognize at all. Oh, good. Well, sweet bad boy, um, wish I and, understood you. Avogado to you too, man. And he points forward uh, past beyond. You guys have been traveling for a few hours at this point. Um, as you begin to see a herd of these familiar forms that you remember seeing when you made your way up here of the Ursiphons making their way past oh God. Over, oh. over the craggy field currently. Uh oh. Steer clear. Here we yeah. go. Very steer clear. Let's, yep, we need to keep away from those things. We gotta direct these things no away fights. from the caravan. I, I actually know we will fucking stop the Borky, stop everything. We need to tell everyone don't attack these things. Everyone stop! Everyone stops. Okay, okay. Explain to me why okay, just why do they need to not hit? Just Remember explain it, lay it out. They, about... they need to know that they are attracted to magic. Steer clear of them. Do not attack. Okay, you see these things around everywhere, everyone? They's attracted to magic. So don't do any! Borky, remember when they caused you to explode? You can't explode! There we go. There's, immediately, people are kind of talking, like, what are you talking about? Is it dangerous? Like, kind of, like, murmuring back and forth. The, they the look dwarves. adorable, but they eat magic, so if you have any magic, don't do it! Uh, there are a couple people. Um, there are some high elves who just kind of nod, and they make their way kind of into the center of the group. You notice as now... Uh, individuals are like, can you cast magic? And the people nod. They kind of load all the magic casters into the middle, and the caravan kind of surrounds them as you guys organize. Oh, I also am going to say this to them as well. Uh, that goes for equipment as well. 
Uh, you watch as a couple of the more armed individuals makes their way into the center as well, and then the non-magical inclined to kind of make their way outside. The dwarves who have kind of joined your guys, the 20 dwarves kind of situate themselves around kind of like as a shield, kind of keeping their eyes open, and there, there, are, there are weapons at the ready, but not drawn um, as you guys make your way forward. Uh, the Earth Siphons don't really notice you at first, but as you guys breach through the main bulk of the horde, um, or the pack, I guess, the herd, um, some of them, like, kind of, like, refuse to move and kind of block the way, currently drinking out of crevices in the ground that are probably emitting magical currents. Money, did you just organ trail us? <laughs> Ford the river, you assholes! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe Paddock called the dysentery! Oh okay, can we can we take the... Can we, no, let's not ford the river, let's take the jump and get across the river. <laughs> there is currently one very large grouping of earth siphons in front of you that refuse to budge. Right. No, go around them, I'm fucking not fucking with these guys! <laughs> yeah, let, let's find a safe way around them. All right, uh, I will say um, vehicle check for you, Tass, to help maneuver these carts around. Oh, boy. With advantage, because your allies are going to help you, I'm assuming. Only assuming. Of course. Mark. There we go. 25. Yay! You guys managed to uh, kind of squeeze in between two of them, and some of the people are just like, they've probably seen these things before, and then others are just like, what the hell are these things? Like, ugh. At one point, one of the Earth Siphon just kind of, like, stands up on two legs like a bear would and just kind of looks across at all the carts, kind of smelling the air and can sense the magical weapons as it kind of tries to make its way forward to, like, two of the doors are like, Ike, back up! And then kind of pushing its face backwards as it kind of, like, you know when you push a cat away from food and its, like, neck just scrunches <laughs> up? Which is yeah. It. yeah, it's kind of doing that. It's like, it's like, keep going! Keep going! We got it! And you guys make your way through the herd, eventually passing up through the mountain and leaving them behind you. As oh, now night God. crests over the horizon. That reminds me, Monty, am I still fine? <laughs> hmm? Am I still fine? Yeah, you look great. Cool. Oh, man. Fucking <laughs> excellent, dude. Dude, I... Part of me just wants to come back and farm for potential wishes. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, the MMOer in me is, is wanting that. You're, I, I wish to be even Love more it. handsomer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're making our way downtown. Yeah. As uh, sunset begins, you then see cusping over the horizon uh, the garrison. Um, oh. And you see as many armed individuals are kind of making their way forward, very confused. Um, a lot of them plucky young soldiers that are kind of making their way forward and kind of um, like, oh my god, one second, my cat is screaming. Yeah. Two seconds. Gambling. Gambling. Oh, gambling. Gabalin. Air ball and haters going to hi, hate. Hi. Also, no, Zito, no, curse you for showing me that Lion King remake. That was so, you shut <laughs> up, it's amazing. <laughs> it was the whole movie! Yep, it was the whole movie just done in fucking shitty blender. God, you know what's sad? Oh my god, is that the one with the stretched out heads? Yes. Oh, ah! wait, was that the part where like Mufasa's dropped and he's just just a solid fucking well, that's render? that's, di that's yep. different, but it's on the same level. No, it's, it's 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 exactly like that, but a different one. Okay. I'm back. But, sorry. OK, no problem. We're All just right. talking about Lion King. Yeah, it was. A OK, um, <laughs> you guys make your way forward. Um, and as you guys kind of reach the point, you watch as coming down. He's got a bib on. He was probably eating dinner. Uh, you watch as Captain Doof makes his way down and kind of like takes the bib off and hands it to one of his like Shit. squires and he's just like well hi there yourself. And, uh, wow that's true that's a real uh that's a real gaggle of people there eh these were hostages from the dragon attack yeah i reckon hey hey uh billy at you and you watch us like hey sir as like a like a soldier runs out who is probably part of the garrison at some point I was wondering where that scout went. That's great. Wow. Hey, wow. I do we have enough food to feed all these people? I don't know if we do. We uh, might be we, able to assist with that. Yeah, we we did some hunting beforehand, so we have some rations. We have most rations to help everyone here. But sir, we need to get a message to Alavast. I would expect so. Yeah, I I I got some falcons who could probably send a letter. 
And we don't really have any sort of magically sorts of things that we use over here, but we can send off one to a uh, to the council if you like to. Absolutely. All right, come on in. Um, okay, boys, he watches like uh, Captain Doof kind of instructs them like to kind of set up a place where everyone can set up camp and start preparing food and water. Um, and he kind of turns to some of the clerics. He goes, hey, if you guys could set up a little bit of like a first aid uh, session there and you do the, you're going to apply the first aid. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna take these boys. We're gonna get you guys a, like a little place to nap. Um, he kind of just barks orders to everybody, and eventually his second in, seconds in command kind of take over and start like helping people move and kind of dividing people based on you know who's injured, um, people who you know are, are you know more able body who can help, and then the people who seem to be more hungry. Um, you watch as like the yak folk just kind of stands confused, and like some of the people are like, "Whoa, like what the hell is that thing?" Um, eventually you guys, uh, are led inside of the garrison, which is just a stone tower, essentially. There's two stone towers and then, like, kind of, like, a little bit of a wall, uh, that's, it's really kind of ineffective. It's just, like, like, two walls that just are in the middle of the field and you very easily can just go around them. It's just meant to be, like, a border, border crossing, essentially, just to keep an eye on things. Um, as you guys make your way inside, the sconces are lit. Um, the place smells a lot like, um, like, gym locker meets, like, uh, campfire smell. It's like definitely like a bunch of burly men live here. Um, <laughs> you guys make your way up to an office, which is really not that great. It's like literally the desk is like um, a log that is like a really big log that's just been cut apart and like stacked on top of two other logs. Um, there's like piles of paper that are just kind of put in like weird boxes and uh, just general disarray. Um, there's like a vanity. Like the only nice thing is a vanity with like five different combs laid out, clearly for his main. Uh, and there's no windows. There's like open, like there's open windows with no like glass in them. They're just big open windows. So the wind is kind of howling inside. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and uh, we can get a message here for you. Uh, I'll, let me get you a quill and some parchment. You watch as he kind of digs through and okay. uh, out uh, a quill and a parchment and a stamp. Um, he says, I'll have to read it just to make sure you're not sending any kind of evil magics or nothing there. But mm -hmm. I'm sure you're all, right. all pretty good folk. All honestly, right. honestly, Captain Doof, if you could throw in your signature as well, just for legitimacy's sake, it would be helpful. You want my autograph? Well, shucks, sure, I can do that for you. <laughs> All right. Oh, so cool. basically, the entire thing's just going to be like, hey, uh, this is ta uh, Task of the Unexpectables. We set out to find Darkus and the hostages. We have them. Most of them are safe. We are bringing them back now. We are at the garrison. Oh, and also, very special thing at the very bottom. Too long didn't read. You're welcome. Task of uh, of uh, <laughs> oh, Iron Oath. All right. He watches Captain Jew takes it and, and reads it and goes, "Well, that's a little bit snippy at the end there, but I understand completely. When hey, you uh, work in politics, life's difficult. I yeah. What is it, bird fella? <laughs> Task. If I could make a suggestion. Yes. You should request a meeting with the council to clear all this up. Yeah, very well. Throw throw in. I, I guess I'll just also throw in like if you need an interview of the accounts, I'm all ears. He watches Captain Doof like gets another parchment and kind of like takes his little nail and cuts it, and then like gets some glue and just kind of glues it to the end part so you can write more. There you go. A little fucking <laughs> sticky note. <laughs> yeah, it's like a sticky note added to the bottom. Alrighty there, I'll just roll on that up and we can give that to one of our falcons here. And he watches, he walks over and does a whistle. And then the falcon shows, he's like, ah, oh god! And he like, kind of like very, like a person scared of birds, kind of like just slips it in, like immediately backs away as the falcon screeches and takes <laughs> Whew, There we go. Totally did it. That was great. And um, yeah, we'll get everybody situated and settled. This is pretty exciting for us. We don't really see that many things, except for the dragons at one time. But uh, yeah, no, if you want to live, if you want to live, ha <laughs> ha, it'd be great if you want to live. You guys seem swell. Uh, if you guys want to have a little naparino up in the other tower, you can do that if you want to. That's not a bad idea, but it might also be good for us to at least take somewhat of a shift just to make sure everything's okay. We well, are under we their care. That's what we're here for. We, we can do the looky lose and don't worry about it. That's our job. If we fail at that, then <laughs> wow, we suck. How 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 assured am I, Monty, at hearing that? Go ahead and roll an insight check. Alrighty. If, roll 20, please. There we go. That's a 14 both ways. He is persuaded. He he seems like 
he seems very confident. This seems very like, why else would they be here? <laughs> like okay. legitimately, like they okay. can fight. These guys look like they're well armed, and like Remy, you can tell that these are very, very well trained Vetrion soldiers. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not like the super like crazy task force, but they are definitely here to do their job and they are able to do it well. And literally most of the time they just kick around stones and boredom. So having actually something to do and be active with is actually like, they're almost begging you to let them work because they don't get to very often. Oh. So yeah. Uh, okay. Is Captain Doof part of the veteran army? He is. Yeah. Y- you've seen him. Oh, I was just, I thought there were only humans in the veteran army. So seeing a tabaxi in there is a good thing. Yeah, Tabaxi. I mean, Tabaxis aren't really like um, looked down upon as much. Um, they they come from Tracadia. They're they're kind of a main staple citizen of Tracadia, um, or from the Tatalon jungles. So they're they tend to be well accepted um, in, compared to other races. Usually, gotcha. there's still a bias, but Tabaxi are you know. He seems abled, and he definitely seems to have a very alluring personality, which probably does him a ton of favors. So. All right, we'll take you up on that then. Okie dokie, sounds pretty good there. Uh, Yeah, we don't really have any extra blankets, so you're on your own on that behalf. But uh, what about the rest of our caravan? Is there a place for them to rest? They've been doing a majority of the work. Well, yeah, we got a whole patch outside. We'll set up. Unfortunately, we don't have any coverings or nothing, so the rain's going to be pretty bad. But it's been pretty nice today so far. Um, But we have extra like medicines and things like that. If anyone's not feeling bad, we got extra food. We do have injured. That would be worth. That would be worthwhile. Well, yeah, absolutely. We got some clerics here. Do a really, got really, really good job there. Well, if that's the case, then I'm taking my rest. All right, mm-hmm. sounds good there. Okay. Hold so my hand guys... up, shake them, just like tell them thank you. Oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> we're shaking hands already. You just like your your arm just gets lost in his yeah. grip. Like it's just like when he crams my arm in the fucking like rubber ducky squeak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And he shakes you up and down. Well, if you need anything <laughs> else, just go ahead and just, you know, give a little visit to Captain Doof. Thank you, sir. Anytime, friendos. All right, well, Hi. I guess we take rest then. You guys okay, head up to the... Hmm? While we're... Well, would it be okay if I quickly thank the wonderful Dwarf Lady for helping me out with the cart? Sure. Yeah, you're outside, and you guys make your way back outside Ugh. and see everyone unloading the carts. Forky sets it down. All right, thank you very much, Mace. I uh, don't know your name. Merida. Merida. That was good wagon pushing. <laughs> Barky goes for a handshake. Roll a charisma check. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's my charisma? Where is it? No, oh, there it is. Oh, it's a saving throw. Shit, ignore that. 18. All right. <sighs> For young blood, you're fine. Get more of muscle mass, and she takes your hand in a really strong grip and shakes your ah! hand up and down. Forky's cut like, is cut like granite. God, he can't get that much bigger. <laughs> Very well, I must get larger. I, I don't know, Borky. You're only level ten. <clears throat> what does that God. mean? She walks away <laughs> and. Uh, she walks away and you watch as she kind of like smacks the butt of her husband who kind of jolts upwards and kind of is oh. like juggling a thing of water and is like, I, and they kind of spat with each other and eventually mm. sit down next to a fire. Can my back be too big? Hmm. <laughs> Morky thinks to himself. <laughs> you watch as Green kind of like nuzzles their head underneath your arm. Yes, Green. Yes, your back can never be too big. All right. Or he's like guys. playing with the ears a little bit. Who's my, who's my lizard? Who's my lizard? Who's my lizard? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Go, 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 go. He's kind of like, like smushing the face and like the teeth are kind of getting lost because you're kind of mushing the face and like, like a, like a reluctant dog green accepts it. Yeah. Now right. we need one you guys board. are set up in the tower for the night as night comes and takes you. I can't believe Borky is not an orc, but a machine. Hey, Monty, there was one thing I wanted to do actually. Yeah. Uh, while everyone's asleep, Tass just like stands up, like goes into the hallway, and like looks at his arm. Are you still here? You, 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 you ask me. All right, good. How do you feel? I, 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 I don't feel.
I feel like that's a lie. At this point, something has to be said. A job was, a job was if, done. If you're asking me how I'm doing at this point, fr 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 frustrated would be the word. But 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 that's not your fault. I I I, I made my choice. <clears throat> what could be done to make you less frustrated? There, there, there's the funny thing. At, at, at this point, I, I, I do not know. We're on the same page then. Ten years of being driven to revenge, and now that I finally got it, it's just open and blank to me now. Ten, ten, ten years is nothing to me. Okay, I'm a god piece. Listen, we're stuck together at this point. We're gonna be partners at this point for the rest- for as long as I'm still alive. Well, if I die, will you just go away? Let- let- let's not find out. Fair enough. Let's have this be a mutually beneficial relationship, what do you say? I- I- I suppose so. But- well, but- but- but you must do something for me first. I owe you at this point, so what- what will you have me do? The, the, the form I take now is a weapon. I, I, I want to be named. I, I, I don't want that corrupted piece to beat me out. Do you have an option of what you would like to be named? Think, think, think of something. Hmm. We are Venom. Give me time to think on this. I'll give you an answer. I, I, I have given you plenty of time. I, I, I can wait. Very well. Well, get some rest. We got a long lifetime ahead of us. Tash chuckles and goes back to bed. Um, Monty, I don't know if this is going to matter, but just to throw it out. Um, un until complete exhaustion takes him, Greco's going to be meditating in front of the fire as well as getting up early uh, okay. for morning prayer. You kind of sit in front of a sconce that is kind of where an arrow hole is. You just kind of stare at it. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It's just, he, that's that that's his newfound way of meditating. Before he passes out, can Remy go find him? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, you'll feel another talon on your shoulder as you are meditating because there's no, you're not an elf. I can't just put my hand down. Oh, <clears throat> Remy, you got to find a better way to do that. Sorry, I don't know the best way to talk to someone. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Jesus to, uh... Christ! Tass <clears throat> stops and looks at the both of them and just shakes his head and walks past them. <laughs> I just want to make sure they're all right before I turn in. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Just you know, just 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 trying to focus. You know, I I always got yelled at for not uh staying still when meditating, but it really does help right before bed, you know? Well, that meditating uh, trick certainly helps me, so I can imagine. I hesitate to call it a trick. I don't know if I'm ever going to see anything, but with all this that I've experienced, it's been kind of nice to just find a way to meditate. Well, if you need anything, you know where to find me. I'm going to get some rest. All right, well, you have a good night. I'll probably, well. be, up, I'll probably be up before you, though, so... Yes, of course you will. You have to see my the sunrise and all. Yeah, my... my Money. Mm-hmm. Epoch. Hmm? That's his name, Epoch. Epoch? Okay. Oh, nice. Epoch, 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 Epoch. How do you spell that? E-P-O-C-H. Oh, epic. Ep epoch. Epic. I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong. It's epic. It's epic? Okay, sorry. I'm getting Chrono Trigger vibes, but I totally get That's it. That's badass, though. I'll take epic. Hell yeah. I've also been pronouncing it that way for the good. longest time. I apologize, but yeah, no, if it's epic, then sure. Epoch. Who gives a shit? Name it Epoch if you want. Yeah, to. Epoch. Epoch. Say it's pronounced like that. It's bedtime. Both really? versions are correct. It's a US Ooh. and UK thing. Someone said to be on Discord. Respect. Oh, there we go. Nice. I have adjusted Props. it in your character sheet as well. All right. As you guys dawn for the night, uh, dawn for the night. You guys sleep for the night. You hear something at your window sitting and perching and looming and you get this sort of feeling this like as if the shadows are calling you as you guys all kind of lull and wake up you turn over and you see a raven 
sitting in the window. And you know this to be the raven that uh, Edward and Robzo has used to deliver messages before. Oh. Strange. And you guys wake up and look up at it. It goes, and his voice goes, good work. We have much to discuss when you return. The council was at odds of what to do with you, but many of us had better faith, but some others had doubts. Not like we can give an answer back though, right? No, it's a one way, one way thing. Mm, one way thing. Okay. Yeah. When you return, notify of your return. We will send someone to speak with you. But rest, you deserve it. And the crow, or the raven, takes off into the air and disappears into the night. Well, Task, I don't think you have much to worry about. Task, like, just falls over, just like, Oh, God, thank you! It's like holding his face, like, Oh, that's one problem taken care of. Now I gotta talk about the fact that I'm Sasarin, and that fucking Azra Sahar is my sister's mother. Did you just say that in game? Yes. Uh, Task, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, really, what? I've been awake the whole time, what? Fucking gets up at the end, too. Oh, yeah, and apparently Ray Fire says good job, and you're very valid to every single one of her her followers. Uh, uh, what? First oh. of all, what is a Ray Fire? It sounds like a spell. And sorry, you said. You, uh, Azra Sahar is your what? Apparently, she's my. I guess. Grandmother or something of the sort? No, no, if she's your sister's mom, that makes her your aunt. Wait, no. no Shit. That makes her my mo oh fucking god. Task holds I his face. Oh god, she's my mother. Well, I can't believe your mom signed me into a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, you're... I don't want to go back to Alabas now. <laughs> Task, uh, Task, are you sure she's your mother? She seemed to despise Ta you. She's she's not technically, like I said, my sister is not by blood, but she took care of me and she raised me as her brother. It's... Uh, so the point is, is your adoptive mother? Oh, goodness. Yes, that's, the, that's more like it. Oh, no, no, I don't want to go is back. It a, is it a mom thrice removed? You don't like it? What the fuck do you think I have to feel right now? To oh, be fair, we... you are very oh, similar. Man. I could, I could oh, imagine task. the dinners. Gentlemen. Hey, task. <laughs> task, she's going to find out you're, you're, you're her son-in-law or whatever. <laughs> I'm more concerned funny. about the fact that Athena's going to... What is Athena going to say when I tell her that I'm apparently Sasorin's fucking reincarnation? Yes, right. That was the other thing. What? What? Don't look at me. That's what I was told. Gentlemen, can we please talk about this in the morning? It is the morning, you... You didn't sleep very much, did it's you? It's not morning, you guys are at night. This is nighttime. Yeah. You haven't gone oh. to sleep yet. Yeah. Oh, the oh, raven okay. just showed up at night. Well, yeah. Oh, right, right. Then, yeah, okay. And he kept okay. being oddly quiet this whole time and his eyes are open. By Ray... I was told this by Rayfire, no less. Well, right, that sounds like a spell. What is a Rayfire? So Soren's partner back in the fucking old times? Like... Really old times? Oh, I've heard like that a couple years. Ta couple, I mean, Remy, years Remy, back. I've been to the past and the future, and I saw my son as an ancient dragon. Tarisk was an ancient. I. Uh, oh, oh, um, uh, Bor Borky holds up his hand. <sighs> Borky holds up his hand, wanting to ask yeah, a question. Yes, Borky. Who was I in the past? I never met any of you. Ah, oh, damn. I was task, to be on the boat still. Task when I when I said to Darkus that you had the heart of a dragon, I didn't think it would turn out to be literal. Mm. You're telling me. So are you Are you a dragon? I don't feel like one. I apparently have the essence or the soul of one, but I still feel like me. Alright. Nothing is nothing the... is the fact the fact that I'm the reincarnation of Sasorin doesn't change anything. I'm still Task of Alavast. Right. Uh, uh, Greckles is right. Oh, my brain. Greckles is right. We should sleep and handle it in the morning. We can talk about it on the way home. Oh, I need some sleep. Oh, he's a dragon. He's a dragon. And I... You guys roll over, Task, as you kind of roll over. 
you hear a voice in your mind go, I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, but, but what is often true and, and, and what people believe can, can, can be two separate things. <laughs> sure, but epoch are epic. I'm just like, listen, you, these are the only people I can tell this in confidence. Be, be, be careful who you tell. Let, let, less history repeat itself. Time, this time, is... time has proven this many before. Trust me, I wouldn't tell it to anyone else other than these fellows. Silence. Me too. Yep, and they go to sleep. To sleep. You guys wake up the next morning and gather up the caravans. Um, the injured are much better. Having like actual physicians really helps. Um, those who had a very like questionably well done bandages have had them actually done professionally. Um, you now see currently sitting upright on a cart is Winter. Her arm is properly slinged. Her leg is uh, also slinged. Um, and she is awake, but she looks pretty miserable and uncomfortable. Task will, I guess, go up to her. She just kind of looks at you and, and there's this look to her eyes of fatigue, but also like very intense acknowledgement. Like, you guys just went through hell and a half and made your way through, and she probably bared a huge bulk of it, but yep. she acknowledges you looking at you. She doesn't really do anything, but she's just, just the way you look at her, you get the sense that it's just like, we did it, yep. but now we need to rest. And she just looks at you and just kind of... Take it easy. The deed is done. Her eyes close and she leans back on the, on the sacks of gold on the cart. Ash just, like, fucking turns around and, like, gets ready to greet the day with a genuine smile. Uh, you watch as the Yakfo kind of approaches you and goes, Um, agu ish maleko agriko malo. Tass, like, holds his face. Friend, I really wish I could understand you, but if you, I, like, try to, like, motion, like, myself and go and point forward. If you come with us... I could take you to someone who could help us understand each other. Um, roll a persuasion check. Okay. Please. <laughs> if I don't have a good charisma. Penis six! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. It's That's an, an exclamation. <laughs> the, this um, yak person kind of looks at you and doesn't quite understand, looks forward to where you point, and nods like Agmalo, and it kind of just moves forward with the rest of the caravan. I looked at Panic. Uh, Panic, are you capable of allowing folks to understand each other through magic again? Uh, just thinks about it for a moment, opens his character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um. Gosh, I'm not even sure if the spell works that way. Um, I'm thinking back. I don't. I don't have it prepared. Uh, at All the right. Moment. Well, I don't have tongues gonna, either. Our first brand new customer will be joining us as soon as we get back to Alavast. Then. Yeah. Right, I am curious if you're going to be rolling out the red carpet, or they're going to be rolling out the forces to arrest us. Uh, With as what you, we were told last night, I feel it's the carpet. As you guys make your way forward uh, with your more travel, it is a comfortable travel as you are giving provisions by the garrison. Eventually, as a day and a half passes, you crest over a hill and you see the sprawling city of Alabast. And Task, as you look up to the shining beacon of the attic, you watch as one of the chain link the building around one of the chain links crush, crumbles down and another one of those crystals rises up in its place. You hear sounds as people kind of respond to it and kind of go, whoa, what's that? Like kind of looking up as that happens. And you hear an echo in your mind. And, and, and with that, my purpose becomes clearer. And that is where we're going to end the session. For Fuck you! Yeah. 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 And with that,
with that, the task arc has ended. Yeah, you guys yeah. are yeah. back in Alabast. So when we get back, we're gonna skip you guys going into town for context. Um, everyone is obviously, you know, gone through to make sure people who have access can get in. Your yak quote friend is is given a, a, a basically a, a Alabast ticket to get in because you just argue that, and they're like, yeah, sure, anything you just want. Like, Let the guy in. Fuck off. <laughs> um, Many families reunite. There are people cheering in the streets as you guys come in and people kind of make their way to different homes. And your staff are ecstatic to see you. And oh. when we get back next week, we're going to find out how much they missed you. So, oh, I hope it's yeah. a lot. Do they think yeah. we were dead again? I can't wait for Helga to complain that we left the door open. I can't wait to have to deal with the council. <laughs> All right. I, Bye, I'd Austin. Deal with them. <laughs> Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I can't wait to say bye to Austin. Bye, Austin. What are we up by to By the now? way, again, a uh, huge thank you to Senpai. If you're listening, Senpai, we love you. And we're yeah. going to miss you. But yeah, we that was, you. you were an absolute delight to have on stream. And I really, I want to get you in another D&D &D thing, if not having Avi back for sure. But an absolute delight. We are on episode 133. 133. Well, going to be back yeah. in the movie, right? Back in the when the Avengers return. Yeah, I mean, one, one thing is you gotta, you gotta do it like Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. All the extra characters show up and we have to fight the big bad. At the last minute. Don't then no, I they get all, to, I, like, they then all I get to play in. Ultron. I wanna be Ultron. Yeah. I'm sorry, we actually cast a, we actually cast an actor who from a TV show is really famous. Oh, Matt Mercer, um, I get it. It's fair. Yep. <laughs> it's just it's um it's just we really want <laughs> We really wanted somebody that wasn't you. We really wanted him and not you. So it's fair, man. <laughs> also, yeah. kick-ass job to everybody. Like y'all killed it today, son of a bitch. This is a good session. It wasn't. That was a really good role play. Session. It wasn't a crazy session because last week was definitely like well, last week. Yeah. Like, weeks back was definitely the crazy session, but this session was really good. You guys did a really good job, kind of leading the charge on this. You know, making your way back home. Um, so I will say this, um, you guys did level up, so that's all been done. So the party mm -hmm. is now level 10. Everyone is level 10 now. Woo! Yay! Um, we have officially and... hit where most campaigns end. Yeah, but we're yep. still going. We're um, not even... We haven't done the other arc. So I will say, uh, over the course of this week, I will need you guys to message me and tell me what you would like to do in the city. We're back, so we might as well, uh, we might as well, uh, figure that out. Figure out what we're okay, gonna do. Go. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not. Oh no! I'm gonna get an angry tech typing from. Yeah, I figured that's what I would get. <laughs> what was that? Who's already, fire, who's, who's already lighting it up? Was just, it was just in all caps. Find Helena. <laughs> Fine, yep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's I. That's all I have to say about it. We'll, we'll, we'll. I'll, Monty, I'll poke you guys. Where can they find you, though, Monty? You can find me at Monty Glue on, on Twitter. Actually, I'm going to try and film uh, my frog eating today. I want to <laughs> try and film Gurps eating. Um, thanks to some very generous people in my stream last night, I bought Gurps uh, Nightcrawler Worms and Big Crickets because he doesn't like the little ones. They're too small for his giant mouth. Uh -huh. So um, I'm going to try and feed him one of those. Um and uh, you'll, you'll probably you'll be able to see that on my uh, Twitter. Also, if you if you follow my Twitter, I am taking commissions. Um, so if you want to get a commission from me, keep your eyes peeled there. I open them up every now and again. Um, I just need some extra spending money, so just a heads up on that. Um, and then you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Glue, where you'll probably find me streaming uh, hatching eggs late at night. That's kind of my new thing I'm doing. Is I'm, I'm gathering up a bunch of Pokemon eggs and hatching them in an attempt to get shiny Pokemon. We were trying to find Trapitch. I didn't get it. Until I stopped the stream and then I got it with the rest eggs. I had two two of them. So if you want to come watch some shiny hunting and just want to hang out, um, do that. Yesterday was insane. One of my long lost friends uh, showed up in my stream and um, we re rekindled and we found each other. So that was actually kind of incredible. Oh, so awesome. yeah, Nagisa. Yeah, she showed up. She found me from Japan. Oh no, joke. Yeah, yeah. I did. I not huh. tell the story. No. Oh my god, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna take up time. So Nagisa was an exchange student who lived with me and Kurt, but more me, like because Kurt was kind of not there the whole time. But um no, me and no, Nagisa you, were you, like you two were you two were friends. We were just friendly. Yeah, we were we were best friends. Like we would hang mm. out like almost every night and watch like Kurt. I would show her like English stuff and she would show me Japanese stuff and it was Here's really amazing. Before JoJo was big here in the state, she had JoJo figurines. Okay? Oh yeah, she, she had was, like the, she the was, yeah. 
She mm-hmm. packed her three hundred dollar JoJo statues with her to come to Canada. Like this, <laughs> that was yes. that was Nagisa. She introduced me. Um, oh, it was the newer ones. I can't remember. Um, oh God, what I'd have they, to I'd have to see them to know who they were. But it was like they have funny looking hair. They all do. Let's not sidetrack too much. Anyway, right? so um, like, and she's in like Spawn comics, and she was into all, all kinds of crazy stuff. She showed me uh the the No Laughing Hospital, No Laughing like those things yes. as well. We would watch anime together. She showed me Brockamon, all these crazy things. So we were we were thick as thieves. She moved back to Japan, and I had her on Skype, but then my account got hacked, so I lost the only way I could communicate with Nagisa. And from there, I I could never find her again. And it was seven years ago. And then she literally yesterday night showed up in my Twitch stream, um, confirmed it was her, and she found me. So I, I have her on Discord now, and I'm going to get her address, and uh, we're going to, like, I'm going to send her letters and stuff. And it's, 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 Kick ass. yeah, amazing. So there you go. That was, that was an amazing thing. Wow. Yep. It was funny because I told her I was going to go to Japan and find every single kayaking place to find her father to find her. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Cool. Uh, but, hey, hey, Goomba, where can they find you, man? Oh, man, I finally get to plug my stuff now. Oh, goodness. Uh, you find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, as everyone has been joking, I have beaten <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima into the ground. I used my bonus action to ask you if you've beaten Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> but 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 already you you can't go back. This isn't first and last. This isn't Magic the Gathering rules, Zito. Anyway, um no. So now with that out of the way, the Neo Two DLC, the Tengu Student or something like that, is now coming to that game. So that's what I'm going to be doing next weekend. Uh, I've got lots and lots and lots of videos coming out. Uh, stuff for Avatar Last Bearbender, stuff for Ghost of Tsushima. I had a Smite video go out on Tsukuyomi. I have more material to work with than I have time to do things with. So please come by. There's going to be an explosion of good content. Oh, I forgot one thing, but I'll mention it again. No, it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, please check me out over on YouTube. Um, also check me and Connor out on Shadows We Cast over at Colonel Chair's channel, where we have a... We, we, we basically completely change our... Uh, our character types around. It's a lot of fun. I forgot one quick thing. Can I mention it? Yeah, of course. I got, I got distracted by rekindling with Nagisa. Um, for those of you guys who missed it at the beginning, I'm going to be actually guesting on a panel this coming Saturday. Um, at I got to find the details here. Uh, um, I Gen Con is hosting a panel, um, which I'm going to be guesting on, along with Kat Kruger, Sharif Jackson, and How to Be a Great Game Master. Uh, it's going to be sponsored by Hero Forge. So if you guys tune in and watch, you have a chance to win a $35 gift card uh, by Hero Forge, as long as you're not from Quebec. Um, it's going to be uh, August 1st, so Saturday, this coming Saturday at 1 p.m. EDT and 10 a.m. PDT. Um, so definitely come check it out. I'd love to see the Unexpectables fan come in and support. This is my first time ever being invited solo to a panel. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty exciting. And I'm, I'm nervous, but very excited for it because the subject matter is going to be really, really great. We're talking about how to make uh, your game master's favorite favorite character, essentially. We're also going to be talking about NPC creation and all kinds of fun stuff. So, yeah. Nice. Come check it out. Awesome. Hey, um, I think that's Chris Zito. Zito, where can they find you? Christ, is it? I hate that guy. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. Oh, did he die? Zito? Uh-oh. Distortion Uh-oh. Devil, who seemingly has taken Zito? his place. Oh no! Oh shit. Oh. Curdy, there. Uh-oh. I'm right here. Do we lose? I think we the internet cut out for some people. Guy Jin, are you there? Can you guys hear me? Okay. Tech. I think Texas you know, got wrecked. Uh, uh, well, has, shoot. This has been has been snapped. <laughs> oh no. Bosco, Wait, are you did the here? Avengers not beat Thanos? Yeah, what up? Okay, so it's just the Texas boys. Well, you can find Gaijin Goomba at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, where he is playing fuck tons of Ghosts of Tsushima. And you can find Chris Zito at twitch.tv slash CZ Backlash. Oh, man, no, twitter.com at CZ Backlash. And, and Twitch is Zito. Zito, where he's playing I get, lots of... 
lots he of fun played, games he's very passionate about. He's been playing some really neat indie games. He played a game that's like literally the entire game is about fighting mimics. Like you enter environments and 90% of the stuff is mimics. You have to figure out what's not a mimic. And it's kind of like a weird surrealist horror game. It was like really, really cool. Hunt. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like reverse prop hunter, except for if you're, if you, if the props are hunting you and you'll die. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, but Connor, where can they find you, Distortion Devil? Oh, well, they can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, uh, where I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday is RIW Roll Initiative Wrestling, my own D&D themed WWE 2K20 show that uses the chat's D&D characters as wrestlers. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a bunch of fun games with my friends, just a lot of, a lot of party games, stuff like that, tabletop simulator uh of guards and thieves stuff like that jackbox party pack saturday we're playing through yakuza uh we're on yakuza zero at the moment we just started and uh boy howdy i uh, do i love playing through this game i love this game so much uh and sunday uh are playing with the harbingers the people behind dead house sonata and if you haven't heard of Dead House Sonata by now, you obviously haven't been listening to the podcast or the YouTube uploads or anything that I am a part of. So allow me to explain. Dead House Sonata is the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series. It's being directed by the original director as well, Dennis Dyack, the man behind Eternal Darkness and his Requiem as well. It is a narratively driven action RPG where you can play with up to five other friends to play as the dead and fight the living. If this at all sounds up your alley, please follow that link. Purchase yourself a Founders Pack. Go to the forums. Join the Discord. Talk with the people behind this game. Join the community discussions. I'll be voice acting in this game. And I'll definitely be streaming it when it comes out. So, yeah. Awesome. Check it out. Zeta, you back? Hello? Hello? Oh, there he is. Hooray. Hey. We plugged you, but you can do it better. Uh, all right, so I guess I think I was up to uh, indie games, the Hanu, and then uh, oh yeah, uh, Zarel, a buddy of mine. Uh, you all know him for a bunch of his animations for Vine Sauce and everything. He's making a television pilot, and I get to voice in it as a fat blobby black cat who gets mad at everyone as a pass aggressive meowth. So that works. Uh, and I think that was all that was left out of that. Uh, if if we if you guys don't mind, I was gonna suggest a name for an episode, but yeah, yeah we were just looking at it. Uh, you had an epic conclusion. I like to avoid stuff that's like without finale conclusion or like anything that that suggests an ending, this, just to avoid is, confusion. An epic one, right? an epic task. An epic. I I think we already we had that. Used, oh fucker! Used, uh, how how, how about an, how about an ep, how about an epic return? That would work perfectly. That that's fine. I will I will super use that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, right. Did we have we not used task complete yet? We did. Shit. We, oh, we did. Yeah, we we have. complete. That was last episode, I believe. Okay. Uh, so we'll do an epic return. I'm just gonna write that down for Austin because we love. All right, chat. You're you're welcome. I have given you a brand new meme to play with. Okay, now this is epic. <laughs> you are most than welcome. I, I expect to see dabs in chat. Uh, Kirk, you want to read off bits? I think that's everything. Uh, I right will. Everyone? We got. Well, first of all, we got to shout out real fast here, Bosco. Where can they find oh, you? Yeah. Bud? It's okay. I was expecting to be forgotten. I'm used to it. Uh, use you your find reaction me. to be self-deprecating. Yeah, no, I'm going to use my bonus action to actually cut in here and plug myself for once. <clears throat> I, uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. And then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. We're not going to talk about any of that. We're going to talk about what's happening hopefully in about uh, an uh, two, let's see, hour and 45 minutes uh, wow. PST. Thursday, July 30th. War for Cybertron, Transformers, you like big battle bots beating each other up? Just check it out on Netflix. Six episodes. It's going to be awesome. I'm Soundwave. I'm Ultra Magnus. One of those two characters people actually like, apparently. So <laughs> you should check it out. Even, even if you watch the first episode, you're like, this isn't for me. This isn't the Transformers I remember. If you take any time out of your day to, to check it out, I really appreciate it. Even if you're not a Transformers fan, you're just like, I want to hear Bosco suck ass. I appreciate it. So yeah, check that out. I don't know for a fact that it's going to be released in an hour and 45 minutes. Netflix sometimes releases at midnight. Uh, PST, sometimes they'll do it at like 3 in the morning. I'm not totally sure, but we're going to sit down like it's coming out, and we'll see what happens. 
All righty. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. We got Sea of Thieves. We got wrestling tomorrow. I'm excited. It's the beginning of the Teacup 32-man tournament. Single round knockout. And that is starting ding tomorrow. I'm really jazzed about that. And, of course, Sea of Thieves, piracy on the high seas. And we've been the number one Twitch, number one Sea of Thieves stream. Sea of, sea of Thieves stream. Nice. Multiple times. It's actually really cool. Have you, you, been approached, have you been approached by the, uh, the creators at all? Yeah, they asked me to stop. <laughs> oh well, I mean, I understand. Nah, it's you, 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 you know, you got it, you got it, you got it, you get, you gotta I, watch I, it. I never, I never would imagine the guys who put googly eyes on everything would tell you that. <laughs> it's time we we want this game to be taken seriously. <laughs> they look at me. <laughs> Uh, I got a lot of people I want to thank you. Uh, it's my birthday Friday as well, so there'll be, of course, a birthday Friday stream. I don't know what I'm going to play yet, but I'm going to tell you right now, it might not. It might be Sea of Thieves or something Warhammer related. So. I dare you to stream at 5 PST, you son of a bitch. No, I can't do that. That's when you're doing your show, and I'm not going to stretch. I'm not going to. Friday Night you. Wars have begun. Finally. I can't wait. Oh, wait. Do we really do, do, we, do we really need that for our anxiety? Do we really need that for our anxiety? <laughs> I don't suffer from anxiety, and I'm going to put you in the ground. Okay. All right, Colonel Sanders. Maybe Dusty cards. Bones, Thortron, 6,000. Think about this. Look at the <laughs> Wells, 2, 3, 4, with 1,050 bits. Shenpai is streaming. She is? How dare she compete with we'll us? To, we'll She's dead to, to us. Whoa, what? All right, Come Wells. Two, three, Whoa. <laughs> well, well, Wells, two, three, four. Think of it the 1,050 bits. Proto-7363, think of it the 500 bits. What about Ben, Osfellow, Vel, Ronelda? What about the friends? Get along the way. Probate with 10,000 bits. Oh, my, probate. Oh, my. Can't wait until GURPS. Probably, you watch for Dude, they had, they had horn worms at the store, and I was like, one day, like shaking my fist. They're really sweet, though. You can't feed them horn worms too often. No, I can't. I I will say this, but probate. Thank you so much, dude, for the additional 10,000 bits, uh, equaling out to 20,000 bits tonight, dude. Seriously. Thank you so freaking much. Too many fandom 777. Thank you as well. I want to thank Crow the Immortal. I want to thank Crazy Meta the Kaleidoscape. X Wiley Willy Xandros Psy Shredder I Bloody Demon Arc Wreck William D. Dropping five subs as well. Give him a D. And Pulse 72990 gifting a sub. Holy Man 676. Giant Kaizen Von Overhand Von Overhand 89. Atch 8807 Valthris Ripping Ton Expella 3! There's a lot of people. Thank you so much, guys. All of you. And again, uh, Black of a Ferret, I'm enjoying Dragons and Wagons. Lime's love. Hmm. Now, again, Probate, thank you so much. So I believe that is it, unless anyone else has anything else. Hey, Monty. Like to plug. Hi, yes. Hey, Monty. Hi, Hey, yes. Monty. Hi, yes. Hi. If you're not good, did you already plug your you plugged your stream thing? Can we raid Shenpai? I don't know. She left us. I know, but that's only because you kicked her out, and so I feel like you should maybe make up for it. Yeah, it's because she left the box, and she wasn't allowed. I to know. Leave. Look, I told you not to open it. Look, look, we'll raid her, but only if chat says, get back in the box. Yes. That's right, chat? All caps. Good. All caps, chat. Get, get back, back in the back box. In the box. <laughs> that will be our raid message. All right, we will raid Shenpai. Make sure I got her name right. Back in the box. Tell her to get back in the box. Get out of here, you rapscallions! Yeah, yeah! Marcus is dead! Woo!